Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, it can only mean one thing! It can only mean one thing! <laughs> what, what was that at the back? Full volume! Okay!
Oh, baby. Oh. Baby. Ladies and gentlemen, I have recovered from yesterday, uh, believe it or not. So today, we are going to uh, do a little do a little bit of 40k, because 40k is the saviour of my voice. Um, because, ladies and gentlemen, as you all well know, um, I may like to talk, ladies and gentlemen, which means that I destroy my voice, ladies and gentlemen. And when certain things happen, like shout-outs on radio stations, as I am casually driving my articulated lorry and then I crash and things happen and voices get destroyed we can then calm down with 40k ladies and gentlemen that's what we can do so again I've got a little bit of a different setup this is because I have my camera here although you guys can't see it um, balanced on top of my case right on the tripod extended out but the tripod isn't actually properly like the base isn't out like like that it's sort of like this so if I knock it it will just collapse so it's gonna be funny if I knock it and it collapses and smashes the camera and, and I'll cry um, also I've got this insane light on shining into my face so if I turn that off right my webcam works normal now because it's not trying to compensate for the insane glow now I need this on because I can see what I'm doing with it on okay but I do have a new light coming, ladies and gentlemen, which is a small light, which should sort of clip in front of me here and just shine light down like there, and it will all be fancy. But I thought, ladies and gentlemen, to start this off with, because of course it is 40k, the stream of 40k wonder, is these assassins, which we did on the other stream. Remember the chat? Remember chat? Of course you remember chat. So I'll, I'll show these off quickly, and uh, then we'll do the hellos. And then we'll do hellos a bit later on. Also, you'll notice there is no music because we got told off. So you need to play your own music, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, which, to be honest, is kind of better because you can just play whatever the hell you like. And chill out with me. Make sure as well you send me your models um, to at Unit Lost Gaming and we will check them out. Because that is what we do. So, this, I'm going to see if I can remember the name of these. I'm totally going to possibly butcher this. I know this is the Vindicare Assassin. So, this guy, as you can see. Uh, so, all I've done to base coat this is it's just spray paint. Plastic coat spray paint. Uh, it's designed for plastic. And it's black. But it's, it's actually quite nice because as, as you can see, there's no clumps. No, uh, like it doesn't really pull. Uh, I, 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 I'll be honest. This is actually, you know what? I'll show, I'll show you it, guys. Hang on a sec. I'll show you. Yeah, guys. The reason why we can't play the music is because it's well, it's like essentially what it's for is Twitch. I think Twitch like different types of streams, and they like the fact we do this type of stream, but they won't promote it because we're playing copyrighted music. That's why. You can. I could just play music if I wanted to, but you know. It'd be nice if Twitch gave us a mad shout out, wouldn't it, chat? You know it. One sec. Actually, it's just right over here. I thought it was uh, somewhere else. Come on, baby. Yeah. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is, that is what I use. Plastic coat. Um, you need matte, obviously. You don't want uh, any other crap. And yeah, this is just designed for plastic. I believe it's German. Uh, it's quite good, though. Quite good. So I recommend that if you want to use... It's also way cheaper than the Citadel paint, which is like, I don't really... That does, a, that does an okay job, uh, the Chaos Black. But, I mean, obviously, as well, another tip is if, you're gonna, if you were to do something like Imperial Fist, so they're yellow marines, use a yellow spray paint, for God's sake. Yeah, be amused. I could, well, I could play uh, OC Remix or Monster Cat Media. The problem is, right, if I play that and you don't want to listen to dance music or, like, techno game music remixes, then it's going to be really annoying. So... What we might do is I might have a poll on the forum and we'll see what people think, okay? But, but, I don't know with that, if everybody would vote on that and I, I don't know. I think just having it silent like this is probably the best way. Although, it does mean I've got no music on, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, so that was the Vindicare Assassin. This is the, I can't remember what her name is, Assassin. Although, what I will show you with this chat, if you remember the arse cheeks, the very defined arse cheeks. Remember, they had glue on them, right? You cannot see the glue. So, with the base coat, it has covered up the glue. 
which is obviously pretty good. Okay, so these models essentially now are ready for painting. I mean, I don't, I doubt I'll paint them on this stream because my black painting is not really up to scratch. Although I did the Chaplin okay. Uh, this is the, I know this is the Eversaw Assassin. This is probably my favorite one just because of his dynamic pose. And it's obviously crazy skull face. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, the you know you can kind of actually I don't know. So this guy who was aptly named the Silver Surf, I think this is the Calexis assassin, I think. But can you see the bet? Oh, can you even see that? You see, it's very important that when you base coat, it's very thin because if it's not. Oh baby! Oh baby! Qual! GG! Welcome to the cabbage crew! Welcome to the cabbage crew! At least I'm not driving the lorry today, so when I do the dance, we do not go off the tracks and die, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but yes, the base, as I was showing you, ladies and gentlemen. So the base quality here, right? That is with the Surland mud, okay? And then I've uh, sprayed that black. You can see how it kind of... It looks natural, doesn't it? It gives such a good effect that does on the base. I really like that. So yeah, those are the assassins which we uh, built on the last stream. I think they're quite nice models. I'm not too sure about this one because this one is really like flimsy. Like it feels like it's going to break. Because if you look at it, it's can you see where her well, where she's balancing on the uh, the stone? That that's going to break. That like if that gets hit there, that is just going to snap. So, you know, even, even like the slightest accident would cause damage to that, ladies and gentlemen. Christ. Um, yeah, so first, well, what I'm going to do is I'm, I need to change the blade in my awesome trusty Stanley first. So let's move these guys back over there. Also, the camera guys, right? So the camera zoomed in a little bit. That's where well, you can see me where I can see my monitor. Hello. Um, that's it zoomed out and zoomed in. What I want to do is I think I want um, this table is three meters long yet and it goes all the way over there right over in that direction but in the corner over there it's set up ideally for painting 40k. I don't like painting it in front of me so I want to kind of move it over there but I'm not really sure how to do that without like massive expense or I don't know, but I'm, I've been trying to work it out. But starting the streams a bit later, because obviously we started at, well, two hours later than we usually do, which I think we're going to do from now on, um, gives me a bit of time to mess around with setup and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, I think they will look quite good once they're painted, to be honest. Let's do the hellos anyway, guys. Let's do the early stream hellos, because there's not that many of you here at the moment. So I can probably keep up with them. Probably. <laughs> You'll have to let me know if this angle doesn't... Well, what, what, what do you think of this angle? Because, well, I mean, there's a lot of keyboard in the shot, which looks really cheap, but I can't really put the keyboard anywhere else. Hello, Kirma. Hello, Pi Commissar. Hello, Angus. Hello, Rourke. Hello, Calador. Hello, George. Hello, Bemused. Hello, Fear. Hello, Das. Hello, Hamper. Hello, Dimsy. Hello, Grim. Hello, Quell. Uh, hello, British Zulu. Hello, Zarfil. Hello, Black. Hello, Sky. Hello, Pablo. Hello, Julian. Hello, Mitchell. Hello, Frenchy. Hello, Danik. Hello, Kel. Hello, Rourke. Hello, Drunken. Hello, Keplers. Hello, Salvage Fish. Hello, Kingle Burt. Hello, Slipshot Wizard. Hello, Gibbaz. Hello, Rock Music Lover. Hello, Pablo Bison. I think I said hello to you. Right? Quan Guan. Hello. Golden Trot. Hello. Anon. Hello. Riven Somebody. Hello. And hello to the rest of you guys. Hello. We'll do it later on anyway when more people turn up, guys, so I can destroy my voice even more. Um, yeah, so first things first, let's get a new blade into the uh, thing. Now, this is like, this is my computer repair kit. <laughs> but I needed to get the blade out. Uh, da, 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 da. And this is my really cheap home bargain special Stanley knife with a home bargain special Stanley blades that last approximately one model. So then it's a good job that they come with about 30 blades. But it's really annoying, chat, because you have to keep taking them apart. <laughs> you know, but if I, if I wasn't cheap and didn't in fact just spend two quid on my Stanley blade setup that maybe the blade would last longer. I don't know. Maybe chat. La, 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 la. So have all you guys seen the uh, the highlight from the stream yesterday? I don't even know what happened. I was 
Angus broke me. He killed me, chat. He killed me. Uh, I will put that in there, but I've put it in the wrong way, so I know it's a kippered one. <laughs> but then I've also got eyes, which I could look at and thus confirm it is a broken blade. Is my uh, microphone okay as well, guys? I will never drive a lorry again. I've been banned off the roads. <laughs> I'm still shaking, lewd. What the hell? My hair's shaking, but boom! I'm still getting the headshot. Boom! You know, I remember that. I, I remember that. I was, I think I was at college. Holy shit. It was amazing. FPS Doug and his mate, he was the RTS guy. Whatever happened to him? The mic's alright. Alright, guys, awesome. Yeah, okay, so what we're working on is the uh, Razorback. So I'm probably just going to... Well, I'll just leave them there for the time being. Or maybe I should move them. I think I should probably move them because if I don't move them, uh, they're going to get broke and I really do not want to break her. I will cry. So let's take them out of the shot and let's put them... Oh, just like we'll put them over there. <laughs> la, la, la. But I just wanted to show you guys the progress that I've got on them because obviously base coating them is boring. Like that, I, well, I couldn't stream that anyway because I can't spray it here. I would get gassed and die. Chat. Well, what I did with the mic, I had the um, noise gate on, which I don't think I need. Um. To be honest, I needed it because I, I, when I used the big mic, you know, because I said I had a bad neck, so I didn't want to sit with this headset on. Um, I turned the noise gate on because I didn't want just like constant noise being picked up. Oh my god. Um, Moon, I say this every stream, but Triple Helix, Google that, Triple Helix Games, and that is how much a tactical squad costs me if I buy them. Yeah, a lot of this stuff though um, has been sent to me though. Um, it was my birthday a couple of months ago, and some of the fans from Unit Lost actually got me um, like gift certificates uh, for Games Workshop. That's where these came from. In fact, pretty much all of that Space Marine Force you've seen me do uh, has come from that. Uh, with the, well, the, the Assassins didn't. I bought the Assassins myself, but that's because I'm in. Well, it's not because I'm an idiot. I wanted the Assassin models, but I wanted the game because me and Kiri are apparently going to play it. So that should be interesting. I'll make both selfish because. Um, well, I've got a ton of parts, and I'm pretty sure, although I'll check this, I'm pretty sure this comes with uh, both bits anyway, so you can make both. Or maybe it doesn't. Yes, it does. Okay, so um, you see this there, right? This thing, that's the top of the Rhino, yeah? Or the Razorback. Now this here, this is what differentiates it between Rhino or Razorback. So if you put... Uh... Oh, actually, it's right above it. That bit on, yeah? That's the Razorback back, right? So that fits into there, and then the turret fits into there, okay? Then it's a Razorback. However, if you do uh, this, see that? And that. And what you can do is glue those together, okay? And that makes the rhino hatch, right? And then the rhino hatch fits in there. Now, you don't glue the hatch in, obviously, so you can take it off. Now, another reason you don't glue it in as well is because if the model gets destroyed, you would use, like, cotton wool that you've painted to put in to simulate smoke. So you'd, like, rip the hatch off and do that kind of thing. Like, never really glue, you know what I mean? Um, George, yeah, Triple Helix is great. Now, I say this every stream about Triple Helix, but they will... Um, If you order from Triple Helix on, like, if you order from them now, yeah, you will not get the model until, it will not be dispatched from Triple Helix until Thursday, okay? So you're going to have to wait, like, usually, I mean, if I ordered a model now, model now, right, from Triple Helix, I'd get it on Saturday next week. But that's the price you pay for it being so, tri for it, so, without, so cheap. Prison of War, that's what I just explained, yeah. At least I think that's what I just explained, isn't it? I don't really need the instructions for this. Uh, I, might, I might do, but 
It's a good job that wasn't out, wasn't it? Because I just went like that. I would have fucking stabbed myself in the head, chat. Cut myself in the head and died on the stream. That would have been bad. Right, so uh, I'll explain as I go through this. But basically what I'm going to do first is take off like the sides, uh, the bottom, the... Uh, well, we'll build the two sides first. Uh, we won't take the tracks off. We'll leave the tracks on um, because I don't... They're easy to paint off the model, at least in my opinion, anyway. Um, so, I don't need the weapon. I need more space. We'll put them over there. Boom, boom, boom. Put that over there. Put that over there. We'll work on this one first. So, yeah, it should be easy chat. You know what? You know what I'm thinking of... Oh. Ah. I need to think about what I'm going to do for the next models, because I don't have anything now. I've got... um. Uh, I well, I've got this, and I've got a land speeder, and that's it. Why am I such a cabbage? What is going on, chat? <laughs> Hang on. Why am I such a cabbage? If I ever won the lottery, uh, what? Oh yeah, um, they don't do they do EU and UK, uh, basically. Well, am I just being called a cabbage because... Oh, for the knife. For the knife. Right, yeah. Okay. It's knife time, baby. <laughs> anyway. I'm surprised I haven't cut myself with this, but it's fine. So we're going to take off these bits and pieces. You can see this, right, guys? Yeah, you can. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. And also remember, keep sending me at Unit Lost Gaming tweets with whatever the hell you're working on model wise. It doesn't have to be um, 40k, it can be anything. I know you can get like, uh, or some people use clippers. Now, oh, or pliers, whatever you want to call them, I don't know. To take off the sprues, but to be honest, you can do you can do it with a Stanley. And once you get good enough, you can just keep doing it with a Stanley. Provided you don't go too close. You've got to be careful though. You don't want to like put well, you have to put quite a bit of pressure on, but you don't want to put you don't really want to cut into the model because that is going to ruin the detail on it. Although some bits and pieces will kind of get hidden, like the wheels will kind of be hidden, and obviously I will file it down. And this has probably already blunted my amazing Stanley anyway. Right, so that's one bit. But this shouldn't be too long, guys, I don't think. Um, so I might start another model. But what, what I want to do is I want to get another model. But I think I'll... Like, I need to finish my Eldar off. But I don't, I don't know whether I want to do Eldar. This is the problem, right? I don't know what army I want to do after Marines. Because I know Marines are getting... Uh, they're getting redone, ain't they? Well, the new codex come June, I think it is. But I've always had a soft spot for Eldar, and I do, I do have some Eldar, but yeah, I mean, it isn't really a force to call it a force or like. I mean, I guess I could build on it, but I don't know. I don't know. I I'll tell you what though, I do like the Wraith Knight. I am tempted to get a Wraith Knight, but then like it would just be, oh look, I've got a Wraith Knight. There would be no point to it. I think it would be maybe sensible to get a Imperial Knight because at least I'd use that, you know? I'm not sure though. I do have the Imperial Guard as well. Like I do have the... Uh... I'll show you guys. I said this is going to be really quick for me to build, but you know what? Because I'm going to keep showing stuff off. It's going to take ages. So uh, hang on. So, um, it's really annoying me that the webcam's laggy, but it's laggy because it's running whatever dodgy process it runs on uh, itself for the uh, the thing. Mechanicum, 
Kiri's going to go Mechanicum, though. I don't really want to just have the same army as Kiri. If I miss the sub... No, hello. Selfish fish! Welcome to the Cabbage Crew. No, it hasn't frozen Architect. Not for me, anyway. Um... Yeah, so, like, the Eldar, I've, I, like, this, I can never pronounce it, Alia, Alia, Aliok, Alialtok, or whatever the hell it is, but that's my Eldar, just because I like the colour scheme. Um, but, yeah, so, well, I'll just give you a quick close-up. I could finish those off. Now, I, 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 I quite like the idea of, like, a jet bike force. But yeah, and that the, and this is the Imperial Guard. So that is uh, the idea behind this was it was a um, urban kind of detach, like an urban sort of Imperial Guard thing. I mean, th this is a, a terrible build as well. The fact it's got plasma cannons on it is stupid. TPZ, grey hot. I'll have some tea or grey hot. Thank you, son. Um, yeah, but like this color scheme, this this type of like design on this tank, I could potentially start an Imperial Guard force off with this. I mean, I have this, and I have an an executioner which isn't quite finished, same color scheme, and I've got a uh, Chimera. Like I just like I just like the Rust model, but there's there is a lot of detail on this model, a lot of like um, chips and stuff you can probably see, which I actually managed to do that with. Um, sponge a bit of old sponge because it gives like a um it doesn't give like a uniform pattern so you can kind of do good stuff and also this is the turret on this is removable and you could put the the vanquisher uh, variant on and it's also not put in right because i'm a cabbage uh Um, for some reason, I, I will now show you the world's worst magnetizing job, right? Uh, the problem with this, right, is if it fires its battle cannon, it's an ordnance weapon, so then it's firing snapshots with the uh, plasma, which isn't very good. That's why it's not ideal. You may as well just put heavy bolters on it or just have none, because what's the point? Um, but yeah, this, this turret, this was me messing about with magnets, and this is my magnet bank, ladies and gentlemen. This is where I save the magnets because they are not glued together, although the bottom one is. Can you see that? It is like the worst magnet job you've ever seen. But only the bottom one is magnetized. And then I just chucked the rest in there because I was like, yep, you uh, you just stay there. <laughs> but it's like pointless. It's like, why would that even be magnetized anyway? I also magnetized the um, executioner, but I can't bother to get that. But the, you can remove the executioner's turret and you can put the... Um, Oh my god, I forgot what it is. It's the, the Vindicator tank cannon. Oh my god, I don't know what it's called. But you could put that on it. Um, but it looks a bit silly because the back of the turret, like this section there of the um, the turret, uh, the execution of the turret is like laser shit. So yeah. But yeah, there you go, guys. That I just So there are, I have got a couple of options, but I don't want to... Um, I mean, I like I like these. I like these models. Even so, they should uh, probably have D-Scythes on because they're, well, fucking OP as shit now. <laughs> anyway, back to the back to the uh, Razorback chat. Yes, the Vanquisher cannon, yeah. No, Vanquisher's the massive one. It's the short, small one. Or maybe that is the Vanquisher, and I've got confused. It's the Strength 10 AP1 blast thing. I've got a Wraith Lord. I should have showed you that. But I'm... You, you know, oh, for God's sake, chat. I'm supposed to be building a model.
let's just get this out of the way. Christ, chat. Orcs. Orcs is something I should do. My, my green screen is failing. Don't you do this to me, green screen. Come on. It'll be alright. It'll be alright, kid. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Come on, green screen. Don't fail me. My kegs are falling down. It's not a good look. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, why don't I just fix it with OBS, chat? I'll fix it with OBS. <laughs> it's a disaster. Oh, a disaster. There we go. Just forget that ever happened. All right, so uh, this this is all of the... Well, I'll show you all of the Aldar I've got right now. They are at various levels of painting. They are nowhere near as good as my Marines because I was testing out a lot of uh, bits and pieces with the Aldar that I've got. So uh, if I just put them out... I mean, there's like a War Walker, but it only has one weapon because I broke it off. But I kind of kept it just for display purposes so uh and there's also another exarch i mean he's i really don't like the flag that was terrible that free job. um and the exarch is not based or anything so basically what we've got is we've got well we've got the wraith lord yeah now twin link bright lance and shuriken catapults he's just anti-armor but i I don't know. I don't really like the paint job on this guy. It, it's kind of dusty as well. It's I I could fix it. You know what I mean? Like the gems kind of look okay. But I don't know. I think it it definitely needs highlighting and stuff. I mean, it's got some washes on it. Base is kind of all right. You know what I mean? What do you think, chat? It's not bad. So, yeah, th there was a ray floor, right? There is. I will put the the end of the blade away because I almost cut myself, chat. It's okay, but these are these are really older models. Like these are from like over a year and a half ago. Um, the the war walker is. <laughs> It's not very good, right? I really don't like the, the job I've done on this. It's not very good at all. If you look at the the style, like the effect there is not that good. I mean, it you can see it's it's just not that good. I don't think I had many paints at this time. The yellow I was using was a layer yellow, not a base yellow, so it was not very good. But I did piss around with a bit of like tufts of grass on this one because I've got like a box of the flock, so maybe that's another kind of basin thing I could do. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not very good. I mean, look, there's like a bit of red paint on the canopy. It's not very good. I really, That is like the worst model. I don't like that. This is probably why I haven't showed off these guys before. You've seen the Wraith Lords time and time. Uh, the, not Wraith Lords, the bloody Wraith God. Now, these were all the Dire Avengers I did. Now, if you look at these Dire Avengers, you'll notice something, chat. Like, they're all in the same pose. And there's the Exarch, which I'll show you the Exarch, because this is this was me trying um, a different style of highlighting, which I don't like. It looks, it kind of looks like a comic book. I don't like that. Um, there are some bits which are okay on him, like the little bit of freehand I did on his the top of his flag. I like that, but the the symbol in the middle, not so much. I don't think that's very good. I mean, what do you think, chat? I don't think it's very good. They're, I mean, they're okay. They're not as, like, you can, I, I can tell that I am way better at painting now, like, way better than what I've done here. But I guess it's still, like, acceptable to a point, I suppose. But yeah, the, uh, like, I don't know, Random Dire Avenger. You see, the eyes are not very good on that Dire Avenger. But yeah, I mean, I've actually got another. I've got another box of Dire Avengers as well. I don't like them. I don't know, guys. Like, I, I, I you see, like, I think, like, should I? Uh, well, if you look at the Wraith God in comparison to, well, I mean, any of the Wraith God in comparison to what I've done, 
this is when I got wet. Like the, the the style is much better, although they've not been highlighted. But it's a much cleaner job. The details much better on these, and uh, yeah. But I I don't know. I don't know whether to carry on with this or just scrap that altogether because it was just something I was doing to pass the time. But I wasn't very well with Crohn's at the time. That's why I was. Uh, doing that but let me just get all of this out of the way and then I will show you the uh, the other execution well the Lehman Russ executioner variant I've got but one thing I have learned though is never sell models I've, I've done that before in the past I painted up a land raider and a contempt of dreadnought and I paint and I and I just sold them on eBay now admittedly I got like 50 quid for the contempt because well it was expensive from Forge World anyway but it, uh, yeah, I kind of wish I had it now, you know what I mean? I would have stripped it and painted it again, but I don't. You can, Sky, you can repaint them, but you're going to, you are going to cause some damage to the model. You will lose maybe a little bit of detail because you can just, I mean, in the UK, you can use the thing called Dettol, which is a cleaning product, and you can soak them in that for a little bit, and then you can use a toothbrush to get the detail to get the paint off but i don't want to break them you know what i mean hello as well guys turn up to the chat so this was the uh this is the part finished execution here so if you look at this like what i was saying with the turret you've got the uh like the plasma conduit thing on the go there and obviously this is the that's the plasma well that's the turret um this though is magnetized you can probably tell because it's not like totally secure see how it drops down a little bit there I could probably have done a better job on that, but you can take that off. And if you look down in there, you can see where it's, you see the two magnets and they just clip on. And they just clip on. Yeah, so it clips back on. Which, you know, does, does give it options, I guess, but it would look silly with the other weapon on. But yeah, you know, so that is, those are my Imperial, well, let's put them both together. These are the, uh, oh Christ, I pulled the turret off. Do, 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 do. Those are the Imperial Guard, um, the two Russes that I've done. Although part done, though, this this one is finished. And I'll just show you just one last time where you can see the detail. Like with the Surland mud on the front. So I don't know. I don't really know what to do next. That's the problem with 40k. You get into like... Um, I mean, I see... I noticed that giant waffle chap has got like... What? Fucking about four different armies? It, it, it's always... It, there is a very strong temptation with 40k to just get everything. They're not done. It's half finished. The, the other half of it's in the box. Um, uh, selfish. Because, uh, oh, let's wait on that. Let's do this first. Because I just stopped doing it. I don't know why. I just got, I think, like, you can get bored doing the um, the same models over and over again. And it's basically the same model, isn't it, really? It's, well, it, it's exactly the same. It's a fucking Lehman Ross. It's just a different variant than the uh, Lehman Ross Battle Tank or the. But yeah, I do think a lot of people do fall into the, oh, you know what, I'm going to just, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that, I'm going to have a fucking Tau army, I'm going to have a Chaos army, I'm going to have a Chaos demons army, now I'm going to get some Eldar, and it's, before they know it, they've bought a load of stuff, and then suddenly it dawns on them that, holy shit, it's going to take me ages to actually do anything with this, and then you've, you haven't really got a force, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, the knife is out again. You fucking want some of this knife, chat? Yeah. <laughs> YT, are you in the UK? Use Triple Helix. They should totally be paying me to advertise the shit out of them. <laughs> triple Helix Games, they will sort you out. Or if you're in Europe. Anyway, I think we should crack on and get this done.
And I do kind of need some music on, so I might. Although I, mean, I can wait a little bit. Okay, so these go together, right? But I obviously need to clean up the, you know, where I've not, you know, that needs to come off. Uh, needs to be tidied up, which I'm going to do now. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, if if you like a favorite pastime is going on to um, Games Workshop and you just sit there and you, oh, well, or even going on to Forge World and you just sit there and you look at the models and it's like, holy shit, I need that model, or well, that looks really good, you know. And you, you before you've before you can like sort of, well, before you realize you've spent like hours on the website not doing anything but just looking at the models. And obviously, if you're going to do this, be very careful, guys. You can see the way I'm using this knife is not clever. But I'm a professional. Because I'm just using this just to take off the bulk, and then I'll get the uh, the file out and just do the rest. I do like the I do I do like the I mean the Mechanicum Codex is coming out, isn't it? Probably tomorrow actually there'll be new releases, won't there? But I don't mind it. <laughs> I spend my hours looking at models on the internet, yeah. And obviously, if I do do any damage, any like uh, excess removal of stuff I shouldn't be removing, I can cover that up with, if it's on the wheels, with Surland mud, because I mean, they would be driving through the mud. But like, pro tip always use your finger, rub down, because you can sense if there's like um, a raised edge. Totally gone blunt. Oh dear me. These two. No, well, that's Daz. No, no, no. You can totally paint. You know what? I look at their models sometimes and I'm just like, they're not that good. Games Workshop sample models. If you want to see models that are insane, you want to go to Call cool Mini or not and look at the fucking super models there. <laughs> Because they are like insane, especially the people who win like the golden demons and stuff. Are like fucking. I mean, I I I I classify myself as I'm all right. I'm better than average, but that's about it. I'm not like some fucking professional. You still, I mean, you learn every day when you paint. And YouTube's good for that as well. Even the white dwarf's not too bad. It has the odd painting tip in, but you can generally get that on YouTube. I'm not going to stab myself. I'm 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 used to working with my hands, man. Yeah, but that's only for that's only for like three Imperial Guard in it, George. <laughs> I think you need about three hundred, do the Guardsman? I've got a box of Guardsmen randomly. I don't know why. That just bounced off my glasses. That did. Oh, 
of which I still need to get new glasses because these are fucking shit or get contact lenses. I don't like wearing glasses. I look like a goddamn cabbage with glasses on. See, like, th what I'm doing here, cutting towards the model, is not clever. Because if I, if I don't, like, control that properly, I'm going to cut into the bottom of the model, and that's going to be fucking stupid. So you've got to, like, just take your time. I just want to, like, take a bit off. There we go. There we go. And, like, a little bit more. All right, so... Oh, oh, I still need to do this one. Jesus Christ. I hate these bits. I'll just chuck them on the floor. <laughs> the carpet's grey, right? So, one, look, chat. The carpet's grey. See the carpet? See it down there? It's grey. It, it, we'll never see it again. <laughs> you see how my camera wobbles when I touch it? It's because it's on that bloody... Well, on the tripod. So, God, really set up. Uh, what do you guys from the UK think about the election results then? <laughs> Let's go political. Because this will end well. <laughs> okay, right. File time! Oh, somebody's been dreaming about me. That's uh, good. That's good chat. Nick Clegg got completely rinsed. Lad got rinsed. Oh dear. It made me laugh when that Nigel Farage didn't get elected. <laughs> well who did you who did you guys vote for? I don't know whether I should tell you who I vote for, but it was not you, Kip. <laughs> Because I've been told, doing things like that can, like, annoy your fan base. But I'm like, I annoy the fan base anyway. The fucking fan base annoy me. No prisoner. But you know what? It's really, it's it's only up Nottingham, isn't it? It's pretty close to me. It's only about 40 minute drive. No, I've never been there, though. I think Warhammer World is reopening, isn't it? To be honest, I don't think it's that controversially what I voted for anyway. I know UKIP have been giving it the whole... Oh, but there's been... Uh... So, can you see that, guys? On the truck, like on the wheels on the bottom, there's no more... There you go, look, see, filed away. Good. Done. If Al Murray was... I don't really like him anyway. And if I was that Farage, I'd have been a bit fucking pissed that he was standing next to me on the stage. I, but it, it is funny, like, the stupid, crazy, independent guys who are just like, <laughs> like, why bother? It's crazy. Although, in some of the results I've seen, some of them were really close to, like, Lib Dem results. <laughs> it's like, and the Lib Dem cam candidate gets 600 votes. And Billy Bob McGuagan and his raving mental motherfucker party gets 400. <laughs> it's like, What? Although, my area is now... In fact, it was conservative before, and I didn't know that, but it's conservative hold. 
which is annoying. So if you can't if you can't work out who I voted for after the comments I've just made, then although there was a local election as well, like for the mayor, and I was really tempted to vote for the Green Party, <laughs> just because I was like, yeah, <laughs> but I didn't. Because this might sound really bad, right? But I like things like the Green Party are fine. But it doesn't, like, we could just do anything. We could be, like, the worst and just drive around with cars that are fucking horrendously polluting the atmosphere. It would make no difference because it's only really China and India and the US who have got a say in global pollution. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, no, okay, so I didn't. Because, number one, I don't have the haircut. Number two, I'm not a fucking tosser. And number three, I have a, an IQ higher than fucking two. Which is probably why I didn't vote for UKIP as well. <laughs> See, I believe that I don't really care where you come from. I, I I don't care that you've come from a different country and you live in this country. I just don't care. I don't care. We're all on the same fucking planet. And at the end of the day, the countries in Europe, we all, we all help each other out to some degree. So why be... Some fucking anti-euro nutter. Probably putting a bit too much effort into these because I'm doing it on stream. Because I'm never, I know I'm never going to see this. Ooh, political. The UK is no more racist than anywhere else. You can't you can't say a country's getting racist. It's just <laughs> I'm not racist. Everyone I know isn't racist. So like, <laughs> but then there are racist people because there always will be. the The worst attitude I think is the whole fucking I'm voting UKIP because they're taking our jobs, and I'm like, are you fucking joking me? You know. What 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 are you even talking about? What jobs do they take? What what do you, you know like referring to like people from Eastern Europe or God knows what? It's like get the fuck out of here, wankers! I hate that attitude. It's important to get the top of this done right, yeah, down there because they connect together and we don't want there to be a gap okay so basically these just go together like uh like that's not the right one like so like this oh that's not the right one like so like this see they connect you know what i think i might get i might get a new capture card one that does 60 FPS, because this camera is 50 FPS, you see. and But an internal capture card that does 60 FPS is really expensive. But I think I might be able to save up for one. There's a company in Japan that do it. So that's the side of the Razorback done. So we'll chuck that over there. Next thing we want to do is get the base and... Yep, so we want this bit which is the base, we want that bit, which is the thing that goes in the thing, and then we can glue that together. Yeah, so if you guessed who I voted for then, chat. With the extremely non cryptic clues I've been given. <laughs> and really, there was only a couple, there's only like. I mean, most people only vote for one reason anyway. And I, I believe that if your country is to get better, then you need to build it from the bottom. You need to make sure people who are on minimum wage are getting paid more. You need to fuck off those zero hour contracts or at least regulate them. That's what I think, chat. 
you know, I, I basically work for minimum wage, although I don't get paid by an employer. But obviously that would have no impact on me. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Green. Raven Looney, man. There used to be a right... In fact, I, I knew the guy who used to do the Raven Looney thing around here. And then he died. He was a DJ. He, he, he was like this mental DJ. And then he died. He wasn't very old. He had a massive heart attack. I also know the UKIP representative around here. Like I'm fucking connected, man. <laughs> no, they're Labour policies. They're not Lib Dem. Lib, Lib Dems are... Like, it, it felt like a bit of a shit show, to be honest, because I don't like Miliband. I didn't like... I don't really like Cam... I don't like Conservative anyway. I don't like UKIP. I don't really like Liberal Democrat. I, I don't really like Labour. <laughs> I mean, what do I need? I need healthcare, don't I? The Conservatives have not been that good. Although, in my area, the healthcare is pretty good. So maybe I should have voted Conservative for that reason, to keep it the same. I don't know. But it doesn't matter anyway, because they fucking won. George, I think it seriously was drug related. I'm not even joking. I think he just, he, he was like, I think he was 49 and he just went out on a, in a massive bang. Yeah, Mr. Ba uh, Big Bad uh, Drongo. They, yeah, they lost all their credibility because of the uh, the junior the junior party in a coalition always gets shitted on for all the bad decisions. Apparently this happens like all over the world. Okay, so to save me explaining it, I'll show you the manual, right? Because I know how to build this, like just, off the, the back of my my uh, thingy, the back of my thingy. So this is what I'm doing, right? This section here, yeah. So I've got that, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that bit cut out, but I need to get the door cut out at the back, yeah, because this all fits together and it forms the base. Um, all these other bits and these other things, like attach the track. I don't do that, not at this point, because it's fucking stupid. It's easy to paint the track when it's not on the model, and uh, that bit there is showing the two sides, so basically these that what we've got here with the tracks and the door panels put on but like i said we're not going to do that instead we are going to get the uh the back door Ooh, i got a bit of wind which is there yeah they lost 48 si seats didn't they lived that they just got absolutely rose added sold down the river You can't hear me breathing down the mic, can you guys? Because I will change that if you can. I hate that. I hate that on... Uh, like, I watch a load of battle reports, right? 40k battle reports. And I hope Striking Scorpion has uploaded a fucking battle report. That is not on his shitty paid channel. But he breathes down the mic and it does my head in. Guys, is this... You're not getting double audio, are you guys? In fact, I... Mike, it does my head in. Guys, is this... No, you're not. I've just listened back to it myself. No, you're not. Because <laughs> I thought I haven't turned the audio off from the thing. Jesus Christ. Somebody would have told me about that in the chat, though, anyway. You guys would have been all over me like a rash. Uh, hello to all the new guys turning up as well. Hello. And I asked this yesterday, but what do you think of this stream time? Because I may change it to this, because I think it, I'm more relaxed, you know, because I, instead of, like, to just take you through my work day, I'd basically start work pretty early. Usually the moment I wake up because I'm such an addict, I'll be on the iPad straight away. But if you just say, like, normal working hours, let's say, like, I don't know, half eight or something or nine o'clock, I'd go through till about one or two recording and then from like two to three i'd do all the other boring stuff and then suddenly in half an hour i've got a setup for the stream and then i'd stream and it was okay but i think it was going to end up killing me chat you know what i mean 
but this way I can have an hour off. So I basically just do nothing for an hour and then I can stream. I mean, like I set up this uh, camera angle, which I would never have done, you know, if I didn't have the break sort of thing. No, TPZ, because yesterday um, I was busy all day and it was the first day. But I've obviously, as well, I uh, did have a very special call or shout out. But like when I settle into this, I think this will be much easier for me to do. But I just don't want to cut people out of um, being able to, you know, watch the stream. Okay, so these bits we're going to glue together, right? Now, we don't need much glue. I don't like using a lot of glue. No, I am not. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I could totally just get like a bed in here and just stay in here non-stop. <laughs> right, so I'm going to glue, guys, yeah? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on there and then on there and then on there and th and then on there and then on there and just glue them together. I'm not going to use much glue, though, um, because there's no need. Also, I don't have much glue, so I've got to really be careful. See, you can see how much glue I put on. That's all you need, chat. That's all you need. Selfish, yeah, yeah. And I don't like mini war gaming, <laughs> which is weird. But I watch them because they're like the only place that gives you a constant flow of content. They've just got some like some little things which really do my head in with mini war gaming. Sometimes their attitude is quite bad. Sometimes it's really childish. Sometimes they are like um how can I put this? They are like like the way they handle models is quite bad as well. Like they seem to just grab them. I mean, I know I know that they're models and stuff, but it just it's like a bit I don't know, a bit a bit annoying. Tabletop, ta right, okay. Um, tabletop tactics are not bad, right? I don't like the the commentary on it, though. This sounds really bad. It's like I'm just hating on everyone. I, 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 tabletop tactics, right? Hello, Tuzza. Um Is nice production value and the models are nice, yeah? But again, I don't get this whole, like, let's have a private channel where we're going to sell the battle reports because then I'm just like, what the fuck? You know, and I don't want to watch it. You know what I really like? Uh, Winter's SEO. I like that. I just don't like the way he um, doesn't show the dice rolls. I'm just waiting for these to dry, guys, which won't be long. Send me your pictures on Twitter as well, guys, with the models you're working on. Uh... You can see a couple have been sent through to me. It's at Unit Lost Gaming, and I will show them off on the stream when I get enough to make it worthwhile. Um. Yeah, Devin, I, I like Winters because he's got like mental armies, like the Forge World Mechanicum army he's got. I like that. The Thanatars look solid. I sound like your wife's grandmother. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I, I sound like... <laughs> All right, so this Razorback uh, is like apparently it, it's glued a little like this one is glued. Mm. See what I'm looking for, right? If you look into the Razorback, yeah, can you see where they they connect? Yeah, there. I need a pointer. Let's say there, right, where it connects. Focus, you bastard! Right, that that needs to be flush. If it's not flush there, then we'll have a gap. Now, if we look at this one, because I'm pissing about, you can watch it. Oh, no, it's this one there. Can you see? That needs to be tighter, so we're just going to have to sort of prise it open a little bit and just stick a bit of glue in just to make sure. 
Because you're not going to see any of this. This is just... Like, all, all of this in here is hidden. Like, the track goes over there, so we won't see any of that. I think I might pick up the speed a little bit. Um, I... So, Kingle, uh, there is a place by me and by Kirioff, a massive Warhammer gaming place, right? With loads of amazing terrain. Um, we know a couple of people who have got insane armies, like, uh, and quite a lot of them. And I think what we might be able to do is a, like, an, an absolutely crazy Apocalypse 2v2 game with, like, thousands of points on each side. But it's going to take some time to get that up and running, you know? I mean, because obviously me and Kiri need to get clued up with the rules and shit. So basically, right, what we're going to do now is this is the base, yeah, and that is the uh, side. So this this sort of doesn't fit that way, you idiot. So it goes this way. So it it fits in like like so, you see, and then that goes in like uh, that. Okay. Now you don't glue it like that because that would be stupid because you haven't put the these in or the door right so this fits in just through there can you see the slots can you see that slot that goes in down if I've actually had it the right way there we go so it goes like down <laughs> it goes like down into there like that Right, so that's the structural support in the middle sort of thing. And then the door goes on. But the door, can you see the gap? That hole there? That goes into there, but obviously it needs to be apart before we can do that. That's why we didn't glue it, because that would be stupid. Because I guess a lot of people, when they come to build these rhinos and razorbacks, they do glue these at the wrong bit, and it's bad. So what I do is I glue one side on like that, okay? Because that can only go in one position. So let's do it. Enough talk, let's get down to it. Cabbage hands and sausage fingers, excuse me. I don't get what, like, people always go on about hands and shit. You've got some sort of sick hand fetish. Right, so not much glue. Wow, that glue's gonna fall over. Right, not much glue on there, and then we go like that. See, I need to make sure it's flush. Come on, baby, focus. Come on, baby. Yep, see flush. And obviously flush at the rear, but I know that's flush, so I'm just going to hold this for a sec while it dries. Well, not while it totally dries, but while it dries enough. Then we put in the door. Like so. We don't glue the door because we want it to fucking open. Then we get this. And I think we can stick this. Ah, we can stick this straight on to here. I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to make sure because I don't want to screw this up. But we need to make sure we get the... Can you see? Get it in there. Oh, yes. GG! Oh, baby! Hello, <laughs> hello, giant waffle. Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the cabbage crew. Oh yeah. So we get that into there, right? Now, this, it, this needs to move, right? Because, well, I don't have the top, but you see the. If you were to deploy troops, okay. So let's say these assassins, right? Th they would never be in this, but let's just say they were, right? So when you're playing on the tabletop. And you've got your raise, your rhino, whatever the hell it is. Razorback's only got a transport capacity of five, and it cannot carry bulky. You've got them in, right? You've got to remember, forty k is all about the way things look. So if I want to deploy, right, like, like that, that should be dropped down, okay? <laughs> right. Now, if I, if you glue that, that's obviously not going to happen, right? Now I know it's a bit loose, but that'll be tight once it's glued together, right? So you would be, I am deploying my troops, which would be off the table, because obviously you can't put them inside the model, and then you would be like, there we go. Effect, ladies and gentlemen, effect. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yes. 
Same goes for like the turrets as well. So we can take them off and like put cotton wool in for explosions, like to simulate f smoke and stuff. Anyway, let's move these assassins because they're very, uh, holy shit. I don't want to damage them. I will cry. I will cry. <laughs> no. Okay, so, right. So where am I? Uh, I need to glue this on. So if we just look, leave that like that and we go for a bit of glue on this. Not much though, because we don't want to like we don't want the glue going absolutely everywhere. And like I said, I don't have a ton of glue anyway, so I don't want to waste it. Okay, so we've got the glue down the side of that, and we whack the other side on. But make sure we get keep the door in line because we don't want the door to fall off. So fix the door in first, and then. Well, I might have just totally missed the middle section, which is bad. Yeah, so I I should have... I, you need to do this at the same time, right? Because if you do this at the same time, we can... Uh, I can still move the plastic a little bit. And I'm putting a bit of glue on this because this is like the central support. And that's going to go in here. I know you can't see this, guys, but just bear with me. That's going to go in there like that, right? Now I'm going to hold this. Now, I... I where you can see how the base is like gone to there was a bit of a gap there a good tip for this is if you get elastic bands right and wrap the elastic bands all around the tank and hold it right and it will make sure it it get it like has the proper shape but i'm just going to say because i've made so many of these i can do it with my hands so i'm just going to hold it right you'll notice the door see you notice at the back like it is the ultimate test the test of gravity it is holding in chat it is fine okay yeah, guys, the stream times, like, I don't stream on Saturdays, uh, sorry, Saturday, Tuesdays, but I've been streaming at 4 p.m. BST, that's when I've been starting, but I'm going to totally change that to 6 p.m. Because, well, it's too, um, I think it's just too early. So, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep holding this because I need to make sure this glues properly. The elastic band, honestly, guys, does a good job. What's the workshop term for what you see is what you get, Wizzy? Ah, uh, kind of. Uh, you know what? You know what, Muzzy? I, I have got something against people. <laughs> right, this sounds really bad. It sounds like elitist bullshit talk as well. But I've got something against people who say, "Oh, this tactical marine is," uh, or for example, people that go like this. This um, wraith guard actually has a D scythe. No, he doesn't, does he? He has a ghost axe and a fucking shimmer shield thing. It's like, no, that I I can't accept that. And you know when you see mini wargaming do that, I get really angry because I'm like, lads, you've got like all of the models. Why are you just doing that? Is like, okay, okay, you can't expect people to have every variation of every model. But come on, come on, a proxy, a proxy's a bit. Uh, I guess you could still say it's a proxy. I mean, I guess you, you could play 40k with just like, you, you could say this Stanley knife is an Imperial Knight. You know, you could do that just by the rules. And then this glue is a chaplain. You could do that. But I don't know, just like for like, the, it's a spectacle, isn't it? I think it's a spectacle 40k. When you look at a, a well-made table, a well-painted army and everything's well well done, you... Well done, that's how I like mistakes. No, it's not. Medium rare, please. Last time I was in Paris, I was like, uh, medium rare. Because I know what happens in Paris when you order a steak. It, it's basically alive if it's got anything rare in it. And in fact, if you order any, if you even attempt to order well done, they'll just give you medium rare anyway. Or they'll give you rare because that's how they roll in Paris. Anyway. So, okay. So this is probably glued enough for us to get on with it. So if we look at that, right, the door at the back, we've made sure it's in. Okay. And it does function. I'll show you. Now, if you don't get it aligned properly, that will not that will not work. That will just basically hang out the back, which is bad, right? Now, another thing as well, because if you want to talk about super, super detail on the models, you'll notice inside here, right, there is a console, yeah? There's a bolter, there's a console, and there's a door into the driver's compartment. Now, the driver's compartment is empty. There is nothing, nothing goes in there, yeah? There's no detail, there's just a, a plate over the top. The back, though, right, you could 
not put the top on and then totally paint this because when this is deployed on the table like that and you've got the uh, you know imagine having the uh, the roof on you could look in there and see now I'm going to be really cheap because I don't care right I will spray the I will base coat this yeah when I do it and then I will spray inside and spray that black and that'll be enough for me all right but you could go to the next level and paint actually paint that inside if you wanted to but it means like for the purpose of this stream, which I'm going to blame you guys, it would be much more difficult to uh, actually model it because I'd have to say, okay, well, that's it now. I'm just going to go away. So I'm not going to do that chat. And hello as well to anyone else turning up in the chat, guys. Hello. Okay, so uh, the next bit we're going to go for is... Well, we're not... We're not... It's, a, it's a really quick model to build this. Is we're going to take off the... This is the top, we'll take that off. We'll take uh, that off as well. That is the Razorback turret. The two doors, we'll take that off. And you know what I might do as well? I might go into my bits box and we might look for some like little fancy bits we can actually glue onto it. Yeah, it does it. And then I'll just dry brush the inside. Kind of like the drop pod. Remember the drop pod when we did that, guys? Well, I'll just like, you know, I'll, I'll dry brush the, uh, the metal ramp as well. So black and then I'll dry brush it and, you know, maybe a bit of, a bit of, I, I don't know something like that but that's what i'll do guys also guys keep sending me pictures of your stuff on twitter and i will check them them out uh i'm gonna go to twitter actually before i do this now so hang on a sec guys and we'll see what you've been working on which is at unit loss gaming and now i don't care about the quality of your models if you think you've done a bad job if you think you've done a good job well if you think you've done a good job send it to me uh, but if you think you've done a bad job it doesn't matter the fact that you have made the models you have well you've assembled the models and painted them is good enough for me Okay, let's add this in. Add window. Uh, tweet deck. That is what we want. Shebang. That is what we need. Oh, I've probably ruined it. Okay, so we have got... Anna is in with... I finished those except highlights because fuck having priorities. Okay. Now... I like seeing Anna's stuff. The reason for this, old Anna, is because you get better every time I see what you've done. And this is good, right? This this is exactly how it goes, right? You know when I was showing my models off earlier on the stream and I was like, you could, I, I was a bit, ash not ashamed, but I was like making excuses like, ah, these were earlier ones compared to later ones I've done, which look way better because they just would because you get better as you do it. I always see progress in these and that's what I like. Like I like the fact there's, there's, there's base detail. I like, I like, this is good. This is good. Have you, sh you've actually shaded the robes as well, which is also good. Have you just put like a, uh, a null oil or a Agrax Earth shade wash into that? Or maybe it's just a shadow, I don't know. But even if it is just shadow, okay, and it's not actually on the model, you could use this picture as reference to do that. Also, I like the detail there as well. You know, like we said with, um, did you did you use a pen or did you use a brush? I think you've used a brush, haven't you, for that? But using the micro pen is really good for doing purity seals as well. Uh, and, yeah. Okay, so Lucy. Oh, hang on. What? What, what the? Why am I, I? This was sent three hours ago? What's going on? I'll take it anyway, chat. Holy shit, that is some green stuff work. So that is a mental beard of some description. Christ. What is this? Uh, Rune Priest conversion of Blood Angels Librarian. Awesome. Awesome. Now, this could be interesting to paint. <laughs> I Oh, yeah, Lucy, I remember you from last week. Well, from the last time I did this. It wasn't last week. I want to do that because I want my chapter master to have a fancy cloak. That looks quality. That looks absolutely quality. Carabore crimson on the robes. And you used a pen. Oh, okay, do you used a pen. The pen is really good. You can in fact, um do I have my No, my ch my chaplain's all the way behind me. I can't be bothered to get him. But you've seen like how I did the chaplain, like the really minute detail. If you want to see it again, let me know do and I'll go and get it. But like if you just take your time, you can like get get it like way more detailed than you could with a brush that's why i was a bit confused because it kind of did look like a brush 
Maybe it's because I've got like an even smaller pen, or unless I've got that size, I'm not sure. Um, okay. I don't know why this is taking me so far down. Oh, okay, so Anna, what else have you got? That looks pretty good as well. You've got a nice, um, like the way you've done the white, and then you've um, washed the white to. That looks good because a lot of people when they when they do white they tend to just like whack white on and it doesn't look very good. So George Lee says uh, the painted part of my chapter ready to destroy Xenos filth. Alien freaks! Oh my! Oh oh oh! oh. That is. I need a close up of that warhound. In fact, I need a close up of all of it. There is a close up. Now. That's beautiful. See, there's a contempt to dread, right? Twin link, last cannon, and I don't know what else he's got. Probably just the close combat arm, maybe, or is he dual twin linked? Can we see in other pictures? <gasps> no way. You sir have got too much money. <laughs> I'm trying to see what this dread is. I think he's. I don't know. I can't. I can't tell. But that that is magnificent. That is magnificent, chat. That is that is just magnificent. Uh, Joshua, about to finish off these Napoleonic poles. Okay. I do like seeing other models, though, because I'm so, like... Are they metal? Are they actually... He looks metal in the background. I guess they're all metal. The fact that he's using the insane UHU, whatever that is, mental bonding agent, which bonds the, everything to everything. Good God. Um... Yeah, I do like seeing other models. I, do, yeah, because like I said, you get to, I get so used to just seeing forty k stuff all the time. You you sort of you don't appreciate there's other stuff out there. Good job though. Good job. Uh, Tom Wright, assault marines. Yeah, yeah. You should get Vanguard veterans like me. They're totally worth the points cost. Good job though. Good job. Now what's this? Luna. Here's my first. I should probably not click on these links that might be bad okay that's good though you know like i think like with this right if you get non oil which is what i use yeah which is a uh it's an oily wash it, it makes metal look sort of oily ish like it's burnish like it's been used i guess if you put a bit on on there it might make those look a little bit more like kind of less one dimensional, but they look they look okay as they are. I'm just like giving you a little bit of a suggestion. Also, maybe you could do something with the bases if they're finished. I mean, they might not be finished, but it is good. It is good. Keep sending me your stuff, guys, because I do like to um, I do like to check it out. And uh, yeah, okay. Let's get back to this. I also have the chat hidden as well. Do we? I don't know. What, uh, let me scroll up. I don't know whether you said you wanted to see the guy or whatever. You can just ask me again. Yeah, kind of like a worn look, not burnished. There wouldn't be it, the non oil wouldn't make it look burnished. Yeah, yeah, Smith using non oil is great. It's one of the best washes that is, um, especially for metallic stuff like my uh, Marines. It almost feels like every stream I, I, I like I need I need all my guys with me so I can just show them off because you get people coming in and they don't they don't like know what you've been doing sort of thing, you know? Oh, what are you building? Okay, so. Let's move that out of the way and let's start taking these off carefully. See, this is always pain up the arse. This is because that there, right? That connection there. Taking that off, you can bend this and you don't want to do that. So you've got to be careful because it's really flimsy. Like if you look when I press down on it, it's really flimsy. I mean, this kit, I think it's an old kit. Yeah, 2006. So I'm, I'm going to try and be careful with this. Because I really don't want to stress the plastic and break it. Because I'm gonna, I will cry. This, in fact, might be a situation where it would be better to use the uh, the old clippers. But I, I'm gonna gamble and win. Still haven't chopped my hands up yet, which is which is good. Oh, 
Oh god. Yeah, 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 come on. <sighs> See, I got, like, sometimes the, the Stanley blade will actually bend. Christ. Oh, God. So, we've got two off, yeah? That's going through me when I move that. Christ. Doctor, are you calling? Are you calling my 40k models dolls? I'll find you, Doctor. And I will, I will sort you out. Dolls? The fuck? It's a good job I, uh, I've got this recording studio now in it and not uh, like where I was before. The neighbour would have went crazy. Probably called the police right about then. God knows what he would have done yesterday with uh, the fiasco, well, the bloody um, Euro Truck Simulator madness. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay. So, one more to do. My Stanley knife. There are models, like, every now and again, like, model kits, which is just absolutely crap. It's like, the rest of the kit is okay, but then suddenly, there's, like, a horrendous bit of something, which is just terrible. Like, the drop pod. It, the, the, I maintain the drop pod is the worst model ever. I don't think anything could be worse than the drop pod, because, well, I just don't think it's possible. It's just a horrendous model that I do not like. But looks good when it's made, but it's absolutely horrendous in every other way. Okay, so I'm just going to chip back. Oh, you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm just going to chip back a little bit, and then I'll get the file on it, because this is faster than just straight up filing. And like I said, keep running your finger. You can actually feel. Um, like, I can feel there's a bump there. We've got to get rid of that, because this, this goes on top of here like that. That's the top. Okay, but if, if there are, so can you see, hang on, I've got some crap on the screen. If you look at that there, right, I haven't taken that off, so that will not properly go into there, okay? I'd have to push it down. Now, that will cause that to buckle out, and you'll be able to tell. Now, a mark of a good rhino is when you look at the top of it, there'll be, well, you just can't see through it, and that's hopefully, hopefully what I'll be able to do, chat. Yeah, well, I need to get clippers because I don't have any. I should probably get some, to be honest. I did have some, but I broke them. And then I just sort of fell into this, like, using my Stanley knife, which... This Stanley knife's only a cheap-ass knife, anyway. Or box cutter, depending on where you hail from in the world, chat. Although, I do think I need to get a 60 FPS capture card. What do you think, guys? I think that would be a good investment. Because it's pissing me off. This camera is 50 FPS and yet it's all like laggy on the screen in front of me. It's kind of pointless streaming in 60 FPS as well. Because it's just... Well, basically lowering the quality. Okay. The old finger test is always, always the best. Force it. No, no, never force it. Got to ease it in. Got a nice rhythm there. Nice rhythm. Oh, yeah. No, a load of tweets have come through, guys. Keep sending them to me, and I will, I will, I will load them up. I'm not going to stare at Twitter or stream, though. Bloody hell, chat! 
What the? Teeth are better to... Jesus Christ. Model like a real man. <laughs> yeah, so I still don't know what to get next. I still don't know what to do. I mean, do I... Well, I don't know. I think I'm probably just going to cave and I'll probably get like an Imperial Knight or something. Just because I want to do a big model on the stream. Selfish, let's grow up. <laughs> we all know you're lying. Anyway, selfish, you, you know, what happens in your dreams is not necessarily what happens in real life, kid. This is an annoying little bit, this, because it's very flexible. And when I'm, when I'm trying to, like, file this away, it's, uh... Bending it. Oh, yeah, I'll buy a Titan. What about the new one, the Warlord? Forge World are going to release. Oh, yeah, it's like a thousand quid. Oh, let's fucking buy three. <laughs> Who needs food? <laughs> Who needs anything? Skitari. I don't know about Skitari. I, I, I think what I should probably do is keep it Imperial, right? So the Mechanicum stuff is going to get announced tomorrow, isn't it? The, it it's odds on that, innit? it? It's odds on, right? La I'm not even moaning. I'll have you know. I wait in queues like a good man. I moan when things don't go my way. I write letters of complaint. <laughs> Doctor, how did I hear about it when they sent me an email months ago telling me they were making the game and I was not allowed to say anything about it? <laughs> That's when I learned about it. When did you learn about it? Okay, so this should be okay to fit in. Okay, so this isn't glued, so it's obviously going to move a bit, right? You can see there's no gap down the sides, yeah? Look down the sides, there's no gap. On the front, okay, it, it is moving a little bit, so there'll be a little bit of a gap, maybe. On the front, right, it is it is connected. Now, this is another way you can tell if a rhino has not been built properly, because the front will not be aligned properly. So this section, for example, would be out of alignment like that, right? Now that looks really cheap because it should be down there. Yeah? Now again, if you haven't actually taken the cut it out correctly, you will not be able to fit it in. So so neat, basically. And then if you look at the back again, um, other little bits where you need to make sure it's aligned is like kind of that region there it needs to be aligned with that. If you guys can see that, and this region there, you see that it needs to be aligned with that. So. Uh, I think I won't glue that just yet. I'll just leave that there, like sort of that out of the way, and we'll take the other bits off now. So we'll take the side off, and we'll take the top and the that's the front of the that is the front of the Razorback. We'll take that off. Yes, uh, you know what? I I okay. I've seen some competitive games. For CSGO, I don't know, I don't, but like, I couldn't name any teams. Well, I probably could, I could name Titan, teams like that. I think, um, I like, I like the fact it gets a ton of viewers, because I was really into Counter-Strike back in the day. I mean, I used to play, well, I played a bit of 1.6, but I generally played a lot of Source. I preferred that, to be honest, and I really got into that, like, like you wouldn't believe. You know, I would have been 17, maybe, at the time. And I tell you now, if I was that age and Counter-Strike Global Offensive came out, well, not came out, because when that came out, it wasn't too good, but is it its state it's in now? I would fucking lose my mind. I would be on it all the time. I'll give you a bit of a tease, though, guys, as to what we have got coming up on the channel. Um... 
I know you like the British Empire so much. What about if the British Empire went into space? My ears fell down. Random teaser. But that'll be just a YouTube thing. No, it's not Beyond Earth because that was that is terrible. You know what? Beyond Earth was such a letdown. Fucking hell, that was horrendous. You know what was even worse with that? Like, most of the time, game companies will... If you're, like, a, a fan of their franchises, right, they will help you out because they want to give you the game early because they want you to make positive videos and all that shit. Well, we love Civ, don't we? So, it's like... It's... it's No, not Cabal. Or Kerbal. Cabal. The Cabal. That's Tiberian's son, isn't it? Cabal. He's the robot, ain't he? That's fucking quality. Imperial. You know what? Actually, I do have some nids because I've got a... Uh, it's, it's not finished, but I do have some nids. I've got everything from the Death Storm kit, basically. I've got uh, the head of a Carnifex there. Uh, Cryptus, which is... You know what? This is a quality model. Oh, God. This is a quality model. This is. Look at that. That is insane. That's the Broodlord guy, I think. I don't know. I'm not down with my Tyranids. He's got his own special formation with um, Gene Stealers. Because he's just a big Gene Stealer. But he. Look at the. De he is solid. Like, he's. I mean, he's standing on like a Tyranid thing coming out of the ground. A thing of Tyranid. Solid. Like, this is solid. Bemused wins. Um, so here's here's a head of a Carnifex because <laughs> it fell off. This is not finished though, but you can kind of see what I was going for. Uh, again, it was just like one of those days. I was like, "Oh, it's a bit of a slow day. I'll just uh, I'll relax and do that." So I kind of got him that far, but yeah, a lot of detail needs doing on him. But yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm a Tyranid player. Like I wouldn't. I don't think I'd ever entertain buying Tyranids, to be honest, or like even making a Tyranid army. I just don't like the fact that it, it that kind of puts me off with uh, Imperial Guard as well, where you're just well, if if you, oh, I don't know, it's not fair. You, you you don't have to have an army with a fucking million Gaunts in or a, a million Guardsmen, do you? But that's sort of just throwing away units. I don't like that. I always like the more specialised sort of these units. I, like you have, you have to be a bit tactical. That's why I'm attracted to Eldar because I know Eldar basically live or die by that. The units are all so specialised. Marines are a bit more forgiving, I guess. But horde, horde armies, horde detachments, not really my thing. That's why orcs are always a bit like uh, I don't want a million boys. Do a bane blade, Lord. I would do a bane blade if I had a bane blade, and I would do that shit so hard. Although I, th I think I'd prefer it if it was a... <coughs> <coughs> I like the insane one. I forget what variant it's called. Uh, but it's the one with the massive plasma cannon on it. Like the insane plasma that he just looks fucking... Ch mental chat, absolutely. I think it's Forge World. <laughs> Most metal things are Forge World. But it is insane. I hope you're enjoying this anyway, guys. Like I said, I don't have any music on because I got told off. So you need to play your own music. Oh, my God. Yeah, but Rourke, a million boys. I'd have a million boys, but I'm not having. I'm not making painting a million boys. <laughs> I would lose my mind. Although, admittedly, they do look amazing once they're finished. They do look amazing. Just to see the boys. Oh my god.
quotes again. Look, listen. <laughs> Stop taking them out of context, you bastards. <laughs> Christ. Okay, so these, right, are just the door panels, right? All they do is they go in and fill that up, so they just basically sit. Well, if I put them in the right way, they just sit in like that. Now, again, you have to make sure you've filed off the excess, because if you haven't, they will not for go in correctly. Can you see? So if I hadn't filed off the side of the doors properly, then it would not fit in there. And there would be a gap. See, these models, they all fit together without glue most of the time. Especially boxes like this. I mean, like, I've not glued that in. So if you can't fit them together without gluing them in, then you shouldn't just glue them in. Because that would be bad. Land Raider. I don't like Rand land Raiders. Land, land, rand Laders. I don't like Rand Laders. I don't like Rand Land, land Raiders. They're crap. Storm Ravens are better. Oh, Storm Raven. I'd totally do another Storm Raven, but that would be fucking... Stop swearing, Storm. <laughs> that would be uh, overkill. So, front goes in like a so. Like that. See, again, none of this is glued, but the front has gone in, and it has gone in fam, baby. See, that there is a marker. That line. Okay. If it's not aligned correctly, then if I just screw it up on purpose right now, you could have a gap like that. You don't want a gap. And the way to make sure they are al aligned correctly is to make sure you cut them out correctly. There you go, chat. Hey, listen, chat. I had a brain fart. It happens to the best of us, man. Don't hate me for it. Love me. It's all I've ever asked. Right, time to glue this on, so let's go. Oh, baby. Now... The way I glue this on, yeah, I don't put glue on this. I might do a little bit down there, right? Because I want that to go, like, in the front. But I put the glue in here. So. Okay, the glue's blocked. Doctor. Dolls. I mean, what is this? Does it look like a Barbie doll? I, I am offended. <gasps> Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. <laughs> I'm singing a Frozen song. Let it flare. So I think if that drops in on top of there, like that, and we put like just a minute amount on here, that's too much, you cretin. Can you, can you even see what I'm doing, chat? This is, I've got to move fast, chat. Oh my god, it's, it's, okay, now it's like a geyser. Shit. Everything's against me. Let it go. Fat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We don't need a lot. We don't need a lot. I've got a feeling everything I've said has been taken out of context, hasn't it? Right, let's do it. Got to do it quick, though, because I've fucked about. On. In. Glue. Face. Beautiful. Okay, we need this to dry now. 
and I'm going to hold it like that, like, like this, just for a bit, guys. It was a square. What are we talking about, chat? <laughs> Remember to keep sending me your pictures, guys, as well over Twitter, and I'll check them out on the stream. Autofocus. Oh, yeah, no. it's It thinks it's a face. Like, this camera... This camera isn't very good, right? It's a budget camera I've had for years. Now, that's why it's got MNL on the screen. It won't let you take that off, yeah? Now, if you record with it now, it doesn't obviously have that on. But if I use the HDMI out, which is what I'm using, it's got a mini HDMI out into my capture card, uh, it just shows everything on the screen. So if I like, if I click on uh, this, oh, it doesn't want to play. But if I click on any any options or anything, it will come up on the screen. Uh, that square thing is, yeah, it, it, it thinks there's a face there. It's crazy. But that's like I don't have a massively I I can't get a massively expensive camera, so this is just Oh, we have to roll chat. That's why like it's a little bit like the colours are a bit out of whack. If you look at my webcam, the webcam's more realistic colour wise. This is not too good. It's also a little bit I don't know, dark. Okay, so can you see this? How that's gone together? There's no like major gaps anywhere, which is what we want. We've got uh, it's down the back, fine. It's down there, fine. We can't see any like what you want to look for there is like it overlapping. Can't see any of that. That there is flush. Let's get me pointer. You see that there? Flush with no gap. Uh, the front. We've got that has gone in okay as well. So now, and then again, just to check this side, we flush again there. See, you could say there's a little bit of a gap there, maybe. Now, yeah, so I can push that down. So that is probably going to be something which I will... There is a bit of a gap there, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem as soon as the base coat goes on. I don't think it will, because it, it'll probably hide it. But if it doesn't, then we can, we'll can we just fix it at a later date. No, this, yeah, it's a Razer keyboard. It's not a Razer Chroma. It's like a 2013 or 2012 death adder or something. But it's really good. That's the best keyboard I've ever had. Poke, I don't think Games Workshop would ever sponsor anyone because they're so backwards with their with their everything. They were, they're probably more likely to shut me down for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to put the... Well, you can see what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to put the uh, front on. There we go. And um, remember what I said before about the gap at the front. Remember? See, we don't want a gap there. That needs to be flush, and it is. So that's good. And here as well. Want well, as little as a gap as possible. But again, that's like an annoying part of the model where they just they kind of butt up there. But that's fine. So. Uh, Gummy, I don't know where Kiri is. Uh, Kiri is um, a lot of people like people. I think people will always ask this because it is Kiri is well, you lost this style from Kiri off, but Kiri is very busy. Um, after hours, let's say. Like me, I'm a no life a unit lost addict. 
but Kiri is he's got other things he needs to do so look we don't use a lot of glue never use a lot of glue guys you can see it glistening a bit don't use a lot of glue and then whack it in so there we go there's the side no you can obviously do these in any order you like but I've just whacked them on anyway because one's got one's got no detail and one's got the um thing on but Kerry will turn up sometimes in the chat though and he did actually he did stream didn't he the other day guys he did um uh rocksmith didn't he, he played rocksmith there you go so there's the side so this is now is that coming apart there no i just think it's just the way the plastic is again that's probably something that'll get sorted with uh the base coat okay so this now is ready for the back and the turret to be built these two slots again i am not going to glue them in i don't know where i mm, let's have a look hang on so i'm going to take that off we'll build the turret first so let's take that off let's move this out of the way Who's the best at assembling and painting on Twitch? I don't know. Although it is getting more popular now. I know uh, like Giant Waffle's been doing it. Uh, he's put out a couple of streams. Oh, he's actually just subbed to us, hasn't he? But he's put out a stream. I mean, hit the quality of his stream is way better than this. Like the the visual quality because his camera's amazing. You can really see like uh, a lot of detail. I mean, you can't mind when I hold it up to the camera. And I guess you can kind of see what I'm doing as well. Um, but I mean, apart from him, I don't really know anybody else who does it. I, th I mean, I thought I was the first one to do it a couple of weeks ago. I don't know. Everyone's got their own style as well. That's the thing. Like, it depends how you want to do the models. Like, you might want to do them... Uh, so they look battered or something. We're usually number one in creative unless uh, a, a big a big guy streaming. I like the fact that creative is taking off though, and I hate this bar. This is really annoying to get rid of. I like the fact it's starting to take off though, because it, it is gaming, isn't it? Really, if you think about it, it's just tabletop. Get well. I guess 40k is. I know there are people who do other stuff like um, there's a leather working guy. And there's also like a modeling guy as well who's got like, I don't know what he's got. He's got like a camera attached to his head and it looks amazing. Like, like y y you can see through his eyes. It's amazing chat. <laughs> I think it, yeah, I think it, it totally is an area of Twitch, though, which is going to get bigger. Because it, it's, it's quite relaxing, ain't it, really? I mean, you would never think it would be this relaxing. I mean, when I first streamed this weeks ago, I, I was like, this is going to be a disaster. I said to Kiri, I, I was like, I'm going to stream it. And he's like, what? And we did it. And it's worked. It's worked, chat. It's worked. I mean, you guys have made it work. I mean, the next step up is to actually play a game on stream, but I mean, I don't know how that would work. So it's important I get all of this out of here. So the turret fits in.
so what are the other guys doing then in the creative? What's the top guy doing? Same thing. Is he another a new a new forty k streamer? It's so relaxing. I know it kind of is, isn't it? Well, Piper Face, yeah, I can give you tips. I'm not I'm not like some professional though, but I'm like, you know, I'm sort of okay, I guess. Mm. Okay, so turret. Uh, we don't need this sprue because that is the tracks which we. Le In fact, I will put them down there because we don't need them just yet. We've got uh, th those are the lights, okay, which do need to come off. Uh, these are the rhino doors, and that's just a bit of a quiller detail on those other tracks. We don't need them just yet. Now, one of these should be the weapon, yeah, and the other one is the uh, the driver and such. So. That's the turret. Now, this is interchangeable with a Land Raider turret, yeah? So I think, like, it's a bit cheap because, the, you mean, you can have, like, an Assault Cannon on this. If you like, on the Razorback, you could have a uh, Twin Link Melter, uh, Twin Link Multi Melter with Plasma Cannon, which is a really weird thing. But where's the options to build it, guys? It's not in this kit, which is really annoying. But that's just how it is. Zoff, how did you get here? Did you come from the YouTube channel? It is relaxing though. It is it is it is relaxing. So we're gonna do last cannon for this, yeah? I don't care about heavy bolter. Um And I think I may actually just assemble this turret as one because I don't care because I know I've got I've actually got another one of these so I could make the heavy bolter one as well and just take the whole turret off okay let's start taking all this off ah awesome's off well I think we're going to start streaming later anyway um because it seems to work just as well, if not actually a bit better. And it gives me more of a chance to chill before I uh, go into a stream after working on the channel all day. Oh, off. Welcome to the Cabs crew. <laughs> a little cabby. Oh, I want to give him a little. So he comes about there. He's not there though, is he anymore? <laughs> Welcome to the Cabbage crew. Go, go, cabbages. Spam that chat with a cabbage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, we need this because this is the thing that attaches to the thing, which then makes the thing move about. <laughs> Bolters are already huge, but that doesn't stop them having. Bigger heavy bolters, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it also doesn't stop them having Vulcan mega bolters as well, <laughs> which are massive and, in fact, are mounted on Titans. So there you go. Why do I do that? I go, that is the most stupidest thing to do. Like, what am I doing? I'm going, I think I'm cleaning the blade off. The fact I can do this is kind of disturbing, because why is this not chopping my finger to pieces? Anyway. 
because I'm solid, chat. Absolutely solid. You know, I thought about doing a a, a Chaos Demon army because that just seems like something which is so like totally different than anything else. And then I thought about what about Blood Angels, but then I like I've already got like Red Marines. What the hell do I want Blood Angels? And then I like Imperial Fists, but they're just standard Marines. Physics. <laughs> Razor blade. Yeah, they do, don't they? Because I could. I, well, I really don't want to do this. What am I doing? What is this stream turned into? I'm just like, yeah. Welcome to self harm with Silosa, where today he will fucking chop his arm. Don't chop your arm. And if you are in a position where you're doing that chat, please go and seek help. Tell them Stylosis sent you as well, and all will be fine. Okay. Uh, so that is the top of the site that goes onto that. And this is the twin link last cannon, which is the other bit we want. So there we go. Sisters of Battle. Now, if. If they renewed the lines, I would, right? Because the very concept of them is crazy. The problem is, they've done nothing, have they? And it's just like, most of them are metal. I am not touching metal models. They can go away. In fact, metal models can go and die in a hole, chat, because they are the worst. I've got Pedro Cantor, Crimson Fist's uh, chapter master. I mean, he, he looks solid, but he's metal. And the amount of filing required... I'll show you, chat. I'll fucking show you, chat. Yeah, demons crossover as well. You can use them in the uh, um, fantasy. Ow! Ow! Ah, crazy little bit. Uh, okay. Um, ba -ba -da -da. Skip a da -da 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 -da. Eh, Pedro. The Crimson Fist is stupid anyway. They blew up their own fucking planet, basically. Idiots. They also got wrecked by orcs, but that's not too bad. So, um, this is Pedro Cantor, yeah? And he, I, I bought this model, like, years and years ago. Uh, see if I can just, like, hold him. To, I probably can't hold him. No, I can't. Anyway, right, so... I almost slapped the camera... <sighs> Um, this, right, this is a metal model, right? Now, can you, if you look at all the spikes, like, look at the thumb, right? Why is there a spike on the thumb? That's because of where it's been moulded, yeah? Can you see down the side of the model, there's a spike on the boot, there's a spike on the knee. Now, these are, like, all over this model, and that's what the metal models are like. They are horrendous. You have to file them down. It's just... And obviously, they're just in one pose. So, that's his crazy power fist. And then we've got, like, his head, which, you know, is a nice head. But again, like, what's that on the back of it? That's going to need filing down. The metal stuff's just, it's like a lot of work. Although they are like the bolters do actually are, are like I guess you could say pre-drilled, which is interesting. And then the crazily detailed cantor thing. But again, you can see like it needs all of this filing work doing to it, and it's just so like I I don't know, man. I don't think I mean I may maybe I'll do him on a stream once or something, but I've always kept him because. It's one of those things which will probably at some point just go out of production. If it hasn't already gone out of production, because it's such a, like an old model. But yeah, I don't like, I don't like metal. Yeah, Rin, I feel your pain if you've got a load of metal. Because you can't like, I mean, you see like how I just quickly file off bits of the plastic here. It's totally fine. Like resin is a bit of a bastard as well. But it's not too bad, because you could, the only thing that's annoying with resin is you have to use super glue on it. So usually it's final when you uh, glue it. 
Now you might, you might be able to get resin glue. I, I, actually, maybe you can. I'm not sure, but um, no, I think I'm pretty sure it's only super glue you get for that, which uh, is a pain up the arse because I don't like anything being like that's it, it's glued, go away. Like my chaplain, he that's it, he's glued, go away, and it's like well, okay. Hey Imperial, where's my curry man? Oh my god. Hello CGM. Hello, hello as well guys turning up. Hello, hello. Welcome to the chill stream on a Friday night. Where we sit, we talk, we paint. And I'm once I've done this other um last kind of guys just took that bit off there. I will check Twitter. So at Unit Lost Gaming, tweet your model pictures to me and it they don't have to be 40k and I'll check them out on the stream. Okie dokie. Okay, let's uh, see what we've got. Okay, so we have Joshua Swan. Uh, ah, he's also got Wellington. And excuse the background. <laughs> Okay, I don't actually know what the background is, so uh, that's fine. Um, nice. You see, I like these historical models. You know what I like? Um, I forgot the name of it, but it's the World War Two tabletop. I quite like the look of that. Oh my god, what is it called? Um, but I like the models look pretty nice, especially the tanks and stuff. Because there's like, like I said, there's like a gaming club near us and like older people like generally like 50 plus men and the, well there's actually quite a lot of women down there as well they play those type of like war games more than like obviously all, all the idiots like us are on 40k uh, and, and this i don't think there's any fantasy anyway james smith here's a necron with norn oil and typhus corrosion to make them look even older now that is a good combination and actually i'll show you a quality combination with that because if you use do, 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 do. see the technical paints are really good from games workshop i mean i recommend everybody buys all the technical paints because they are really good uh if i can find the ones i'm trying to talk about that would be quality so you uh typhus corrosion Well, we don't need an oil, but this gives a good effect, right? I was wondering what that was. That's the. I was like, why is that near me? So, this, yeah, typhus corrosion, right? That's what you've used um, to make them look older. That's good, yeah? Give it. I've got it on the thing. There you go. But you can use this with it as well, right? This is Rise of Rust. Now, if you put that down first and then put typhus corrosion over it, it gives a rusted effect to the metal, like it texturizes the metal, so it's rusty. Uh, so it's rusty. It's really good. That is, at least I think that's really good. Anyway, that uh, that's what I did on the um, Lehman Russ I showed you earlier, guys, but only really small amounts of it. In fact, if you look here, I'll show you. Like this is just pure typhus corrosion. If you look uh, there, can you see it on the angle uh, there? That's typhus corrosion. It makes metal look like it's rusted away. But if you use the rise of rust and then the... Uh, that stuff, I think it texturizes it. But yeah, it's good. Necrons are good. The only thing I don't really like about Necrons is this bit of plastic. I don't like that. I don't like... like The Storm Raven had a little bit of plastic for the lights and I just chucked that away. I couldn't handle it. Okay, Jack. The mighty Carnifex Lord. Eh? Is that a thing? That's a dwarf. Are they called Carnifex Lords? They might be. I I'm not down with fantasy. Dwarfs are solid though. And the fact that he's being carried by a bunch of idiots is even better. 
George, uh, here come the close-ups. Oh, baby. So, Contempt to Dread with Twin Link Last Cannon and Close Combat with probably Heavy Flamer inside it, because why not? I like the damage. I like the base. Land Raider with uh, Twin Link Last Cannons and those are Heavy Bolters. Night Titan with the big auto cannon thing of bullshit and the strength D of bullshit weapon. And a rhino, ladies and gentlemen. So actually, when you look at this rhino, like I've got to put that on the front of mine. Got to put the lights on. Got to do the top. He's got smoke launchers. Uh, a light. And like, kind of a bit customized there. I think they're chaos, aren't they? Are these chaos smoke launchers? Or are they just like, um, not smoke launchers as such, but what you call them, hunter killer missile things? I forget what they call for chaos. I don't like chaos. I know this isn't chaos, it's supposed to be kit bit and kit bash. It's good anyway. <laughs> the old Vindicator. I'm getting a really sore throat. I'm loving a Vindicator. I think I might get a Vindicator. Oh my god. Uh, Fantic says, I got these from a museum in 03. They don't look too bad, actually. <laughs> you could probably paint them. How come I'm not on the screen? This is disgusting. What what, what are you watching? <laughs> hmm. And that's it. Okay, awesome. I mean, I understand that everybody watching is going to have models. They can just show off. But there you go. Okay. I'm going to try and cut back the talking a bit, guys, because my throat is going bad. I will drill the last cannon, that's an idea. But it means we've got to tra change the drill bit. Oh no. How's that Blood Bowl uh, League going on the forum? Also, guys, as well, there is a Warhammer thread on our forums. Maybe one of the mods could link it in for me, but that is a, a good place to go if you want to just check out models. You can, in fact, see some of the really older models I did. And hopefully see where I've uh, kind of got to. It's just practice, like makes you better. It, it, well, it makes you perfect, I guess, at the end of the day. But well, you'll never be perfect, but you can get better and better and better the more you do stuff. Especially the this kind of stuff, because it's not really about ability. It's more so about technique. Oh, that's quality beef. Cheers, Shad. Okay, so this is the drill bit we're going to use. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill the end of the last cannon out because weapons look way better when they are drilled. And there's also a bit of black fluff or something on my finger. There you go. Okay. Now, they are kind of hard to drill, last cannons are, because look at that. Come on, focus. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. You see the little lip? I have to, like, you have to get that in to the middle of it. It's a bit difficult. By Jove, I think we've got it. Yeah. <gasps> 
Oh yeah. I t I'm, no hands, I'm not even looking. There you go, look. You see how we've got, we've gone, we've drilled in. Look at that. Oh yeah. I mean, you don't need to go crazy with the depth. Depends what your preference is. Depends how big your drill bit is as well. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do the other one. Innuendo. Uncouth. <laughs> okay, looks like we got this one fine as well. See? Oh, yes. I'd expect nothing less off your chat. So there we go. Oh yeah. Pew. Little holes do give a... Little holes do give a... Yeah, where's this conversation going? Um, yeah, the, uh, the, the the detail. A little bit of detail will make your model stand out. Oh yeah. All right, so. Get rid of these little bits because they do my sweet in and we are going to glue the turret together, right? So the way the turret goes together is a leg of these. That goes in there. This doesn't really need gluing because it's so tight. Anyway, what you do is <laughs> you fit, can you see the hole? So we have to feed the, the like the last gun power or last cannon last gun it's not a freaking imperial guard thing is it feed it through like that and can you see that they connect like that and then that pushes together like that but the only place you really need to glue it is is there because you want it to move you don't glue like you just put a bit of glue there so now they're together and they would move like this get what i'm saying Get what I'm saying? <laughs> it's an R-rated stream. Uh, and once we've done that, we then put this. It's actually got handy grooves, which goes like that, and it stops when it hits the grooves. And then you stick this on top of that. So that is the finished last one, okay? Which would move. So we'll just... It's not a last gun, it's a last it's a twin link last cannon. I will stop calling it a last gun. Why am I doing that? I am not a fucking idiot chap. So all the bit of glue I need is just a bit of glue on there. That's it. See, just a bit of glue there. And then we push it together like that. We hold it so it dries. So that's what we're looking for, the dry there. We want it to dry together though. There we go. And we hold it. Oh yeah. I don't think Regicide's too bad, uh, Sal. Did you see Kiri's video on it? it it's not too bad, is it? 
Okay, so that's kind of glued together now. It's not super sturdy, but we've got to put the thing on the top, this, which we will glue in these little tracks there and put that onto there, and that will keep it together. And obviously, we want to make sure that it is... Oh my God, camera, that it is aligned to a degree. Okay, okay. So, a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. I was quality at reg side. I was I was the best. There we go. There we go. And I'm just holding it so it Oh, I if it don't want to focus, it don't want to focus. But I'm holding it so it dries. And it should be okay from the front, which it is. Can you, see, if I can twist around, see they're both like level, which they should be, because it's twin linked. Also look down the side. Make sure you can like we can only see one last on there, can't we? But if we could see two when we were like when we had it level, we we haven't aligned them properly. Yeah, I thought it's it's just gaming law that shoulder plates and uh Why'd you say that big? Why'd you say that? We need to get to the bottom of Big's comment chat. Because I think we've got a case of who came first. Alright, so that's that's glued enough, so now I'll just put the bit of detail light on the top. Come on, Big. You can't just make a comment like that. I mean, I've, I've not seen you in the stream before, so I'm guessing you're like, oh, it's copying uh, a certain fellow. No, no, no. And in fact, there's nothing wrong with copying people anyway. It's just uh, with, more, with more competition, well, it's not really competition, but more people doing it, you will get different ideas. Okay, that should dry. But yeah, we've been doing this for weeks, weeks and weeks. In fact, I'm just going to flat out claim that I invented this. I don't even care if I haven't. I've invented this chat, haven't I? This is New Age Entertainment right here, right now, Unit Lost. In fact, big okay. If you go to Unit Lost, if you go to twitch.tv forward slash Unit Lost slash videos and click on past broadcast, you'll see the first one we did. Dark, I'm sitting on a uh, Omega, or well, a GT Omega racing chair. It's not bad. Um, it's only the cheap one though because I'm a cheap ass so there we go that's the finished I mean it, when you look at the side it looks like there's bits and pieces hanging off that need to be cut off they don't yeah, that's just the way the plastic looks after it's been warped when it's been cut like I said the old finger test always uh, tells you what's what so this goes into here And there's no glue in this bit because you don't want to do what well, you don't want to glue that on. And if we get the razor back or the rhino chassis, we'd stick that in there like that. If 
we had it the right way, we would. Like that. There we go. And that, that there is a last cannon, Razorback, essentially. So again, when you're playing the game, well, I mean, we need to do these bits now, but when you're playing the game, if you take damage to this, right, you get a weapon destroyed result. Well, most of the time, it'll probably only have that on it. You could have a Storm Bolter on the front, but uh, if you get a weapon destroyed, so this is destroyed, you need to be able to take... Oh, well, you wouldn't take it all off because that would indicate it's been destroyed. Instead, you would just take off that weapon destroyed. So you can visibly see. Because you will forget in games that these things have happened. Also, with the door at the back, like I said, that should be openable. And it is. The reason I'm not going to glue this on is because we're going to make the rhino door now. Because... It's always good to have options. Like I said, I don't like just saying, um, I don't like just saying like, I don't think I'll have the time to watch that beef, but I will check it out though. I know feld has been recording the games, which is good. And I have been, I have been reading the thread as well on the forums. Um, but yeah, like this kit, if we glued that in now and we glued this in, well, we've just fucked ourselves because we can't now pass that off as a rhino without being cheap. Even if we just glued in this bit, there, we could, you could say, again, this is what annoys me with mini wargaming, they'd be like, yeah, this is a rhino. It's like, no, mate, that's a fucking Razorback chassis. And, and like, for me, that really annoys me. Uh, Big, where do you think I'm from? We called Unit Lost Great British Gaming. Ah, I've got the Union Jack all over the place. Or the Union Flag, depending on where it is. I also sound English. Holy hell, man. Truty, I don't really know where to point you to get started into 40k. Um... I don't know. Okay, so let's put that out of the way. Let's get the door, which is down here. Oh, we also need to put the front on as well. Now, reading a rule box is not going to get you into it. You need, like, I know, I think, I think Mini Wargaming had a little, like, introduction to 40k serious but i think it's so old like the rules are just totally out of date watching battle reports will help you but if you don't understand what's going on you will be like what the hell <laughs> what's mym oakley what is mym you've got me intrigued So this this is just the front of the uh, thing. It just basically clips and you force it in. <laughs> what is with the innuendo, man? Yeah, Vaults of Terror is good for lore. <laughs> Although, uh, has there been any new... Um... If the Emperor had a text-to-speech device. Because <laughs> that makes me laugh every time I see that. Mine. I don't know Big Oakley. I don't know what that means. Main? Mine? I don't know. I'm the, yeah, I'm from the UK anyway. So, this. This does not get glued in, right? This is a movable hatch that lifts up and down, right? Now you can see where this goes in at the front, right? You have to force this in. So maybe I should have done this before I glued it in because that was a bit stupid. And I've just threw the turret onto the floor, which is also a bit stupid. Well, I threw it onto the thing. So I'm just going to force it in like that. And then, yeah, you know, there we go. Just apply the right amount of pressure. See that? That's it. That's it. Oh, it apparently you noticed the face in nowhere. There we go. So, I probably didn't even do that on the, the camera, did I? So that's in now, yeah? So you can lift it up. Hello. Hello. Now you might think that's kind of stupid. It kind of is, but when you lift it up, you can get in and paint the windows underneath. 
if you're so inclined. You could just glue it down if you were really cheap. Just glue that down and be like, yeah, job's done. So, yeah. No, no, you don't want Battle for McCrag. You want to buy um, buy the Dark Vengeance kit. The best way... Oh, nice one, Self. The best way is if you have got a friend, right, and you both want to get into it, just go halves on Dark Vengeance, right? And one of you can play Chaos, one of you can play Dark Angels. And just go from there, basically, because that is like really cost-effective for what you get. I mean, a lot of the models are not like the standard models, I guess. Like they are, they're called snap fit, where they're not like totally. They're a bit easy to put together. Some of them are, but some of them are not. Um, George, uh, like sometimes you have to force it in, George. <laughs> Even when people are like, "No, don't force it in," you have to force it. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, I could also do the lights as well. Oh, you know what? Let's let's, let's put the lid on the glue. Dark. I would never recover. I don't. You know what? I I. Apparently, who would have thought funk it, right? But there is such a thing as talking too much, and I do that, or so I've been told. I should not have a sore throat all the time. I'm really terrible for this. It's probably stupid that we also do two massively long, well, two hour long podcasts where we constantly talk. I mean, Kiri has to talk, yeah, but I'm an idiot and I'm talking all the time. Then I go and stream for hours and hours and hours every day and constantly talk, like I am now. Moaning about talking while also talking. The logic is terrible, chat. The logic is terrible. Oh, come on, chat. Are we, are we, are we seriously not going to make the, 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 the sub goal today? Not today. Not today. Today is the day of days. This also looks really weird, doesn't it? It's like... <laughs> It'd be funny if I put the Stanley into my eye. Like, um, Demolition Man style, where he pops his eye out with a fountain pen. <laughs> and uses it to open the door. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, what a film. I, th I don't think it's throat, I just think it's vocal cords that are sore throat I need to see a voice coach <laughs> alright love alright love that's probably not of me teach me how to talk I'm gonna make you squeal <laughs> yeah I do like I'm sitting here with like fucking cheap ass this stuff is like fucking no, no sugar tropical crap from Morrison's that was like 60p <laughs> okay so this right these two bits go together right now you can glue them together like that right but you've got to be really careful because it, it's not really designed to be glued together like that it's sort of designed to be glued together like this where you just you just rest them in you see like that maybe i shouldn't yeah i think i should glue them together i you see like if, if i yeah because it looks a bit shit moving about that there is the razor that's the rhino equivalent right because it's just a 10 man tactical troop transport well it doesn't have to be tactical marines it can be I think uh, I don't think they support bulky units might do I'm not sure but uh, yeah so I'm going to glue this together so it's one plate 
but I'm not going to glue it into the Razorback or the, the chassis, okay? This is going to take some gluey. Gluey! I had McGee uh, here today, right? And I didn't take her on a walk. She was not happy, chat. I was too busy, but she was not happy, chat. She was not happy. I think I'm going to be in for a... I'm going to be asked to go to somebody's office in the morning. Oh, no, I won't have it tomorrow. It's a weekend. Okay, so we're going to try and glue this together. With my eyes. Oh my god. I'm gonna go stick some fire warriors in the oven. <laughs> Just melt them away. Die, you towel scum. This doesn't seem to be gluing. What is going on with this? I thought this was an amazing idea. A kingly idea, if you will. It doesn't seem to be a kingly idea, chat. Oh, maybe it is. Right, right. So that's glued enough. Now I'm going to stick it in the thing so they can just rest together. Okay. Can you see? Now that, I'm just going to leave it there, right? There, it... Yeah, it's level. So we'll just leave it like that so it can just glue. <laughs> Who's McGee? <laughs> I'll show you McGee. McGee. Here's McGee. That's McGee. That was McGee the other day. I mean, look at it. That, well, that's me, but there's McGee. Look. <laughs> McGee. Uh, and for an actual picture of McGee. Uh, <laughs> McGee. I'm sure I've got a picture around here somewhere of this little schmuck. Well, I've got Picard on my desktop. <laughs> Oh no, I had a really good picture of McGee. I've got a picture of McGee having a bath, but that's not very good. This is, but that was whatever. That was McGee chat. You, you know who McGee is chat. I'm just waiting for this to dry. Uh, to to dry. I'm just I'm, I'm having to look around on Twitch while I'm waiting. I should probably look on Twitter, shouldn't I? <laughs> it's like, yes, guys, can we watch a stream where you just look at my face and my rhino chassis and me just watch other people stream? I can see Giant Waffle streaming. He's trying to paint. If that's his first time painting, it's going to be uh, interesting for him. Uh, this other guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's playing Pokemon or something. <laughs> Twitch Veronica or somebody? Okay. I tell you what, chat. We should we should attack his stream. Let's go, chat. Let's go to Giant Waffle stream, right? I'm gonna try and time paste this in, and I want the subs to just spam the cabbage, like just hit him with the cabbage emote. Let's see what he does. I believe we call this an invasion, right? Okay, get ready, chat. There we go. Go to his stream. I just spam cabbages in. You'll see me do it, right? About now, right? 
Come on, as soon as I see the first cabbage in there, I'll do it. Because I don't know what the timing is, and I don't want you to miss it. Oh my god, who will be the first? Who will be the first cabbage? <laughs> Twitch in Twitch. Oh, lewd. Boom, boom. Oh, my message has been deleted. <laughs> oh no, Alan's been killed. Oh god. Oh god. Fred's been killed. I think everybody's being killed. Oh god. Kid just says cabbage. It's beautiful. <laughs> Gummy's been killed. <laughs> the cabbage curve. Yes. Oh my god. Let's see if they let's see if they notice. Like they're like, what the hell is going on? What's he saying? Is he saying anything about it? Probably not. Looks pretty good. Uh, By the way, this is enamel paint. If, if that's wrong, someone correct me. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's enamel paint. And that it's not enamel paint, guys. It's acrylic. <laughs> Tell him it's acrylic. What the hell? So you don't really got to worry about like you bleeding over or anything on it. So uh, I should be all right with like being able to do the next layer pretty pretty fast. Enamel would be bad. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Sir, welcome to the Cabbage Crew. <laughs> cabbage boys are here. I subbed a unit loss today. Right <laughs> well before the stream started. Okay, so this seems good. Let me try to get, uh, let me try to get this. Well done, stream. <laughs> well done, stream. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, we're probably dry now. Oh, I'll check Twitter. Let's check Twitter. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck is this cabbage shite? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, what was I thinking is enamel? There's anyway, we're not watching another stream, guys. Well done, chat. You did well. <laughs> You've done me proud. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> uh, is there even any... Oh my god, what have I done with Twitter? Oh. Uh, Oh, there's only a couple. We'll check them out. We've got, we've got uh, Jack. So Jack has sent through bases that look quality. Okay, just a cool method I tried with many cracked earth effects. Just paint black with red glaze. That's that's pretty good, actually. Looks like molten lava. And Jack back again with the sanguinary guard wings on a guy. <laughs> what the... Amazing. That is just like a model of everything, isn't it? I know. Amazing. Amazing work. Amazing work. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, this is dry now. I right. So we've we've basically turned that into one piece, right? Instead of it being two, it's now one. Now we'll leave it like that because that is. If we want a rhino, we have got a rhino. If we want a razorback, we've got a. We've got a razorback. Okay. Awesome. I kind of want to watch his stream if it's his first time painting. Uh, okay, so... Uh, lights. We need to do the lights now. So let's move that out of the way, out of the way. Light, light, light. Uh, I'm stick on some of the detail as well, which I think I might actually get my box of wonder out and see if we can find some... You know, like, my Predator's got the Book of Win on the front? <laughs> Maybe I've got another Book of Win. Uh, you know what, we'll take this Aquila off though. Because I really like these. I really like them gold as well. Oh, babe. Okay. Oh, uh, in fact, you know what, we may as well take a bunch of this stuff off as well. we still got the, the... I don't know whether I'm a fan, you know, of actually having... The model hanging out at the top, like, actually on the Storm Bolter. Because I'm going to put the Storm Bolter on it, because I, if I use the Rhino, it would always have a Storm Bolter on it. And I just guess pay the price for the uh, Razorback, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the model. I'm not sure I like it, you know, guys.
Mm. Okay. I like this little crate though. Let's get that. Like I got this thing. Like I don't like um, marines with the helmets off either. Right? We'll do the little fuel thing, but we won't do the front, the spikes. We won't do these the the thing at the front because I don't like that. Um. I forgot what I was saying, so we'll just carry on. Like I said, nothing. That's probably fucking annoying as shit, so I'll stop doing that. Oh, yes, the guy, the Marines. I'm not really a fan of Marines without helmets on because it seems fucking stupid. Just like I'm not a fan of having a guy hanging out the top of a turret firing at somebody, it would be automatic. The Storm Bolt would fire at them, but then it looks stupid with just the Storm Bolt on the pintle hanging down doing nothing. I don't have clippers, Fred. I used clippers before, but I find this to be faster. I think it's something to do with having a beard, Doc. You can look much older with a beard. I also look like I've got a massive... I swear the medication I'm taking is giving me like an extra chin. And I don't like that. I need to have a word with a doctor. I'll just come off it. I'm not having that shit. And true, they're not dangerous enough, chat. Like this, you can kill somebody with it. Like, imagine if somebody breaks in now, trying to nip my foot. Can you fucking cut him? You want me? <sighs> yeah. And then I could get their blood and use it as effect on the model. Okay, let's uh, do a bit of this. Oh, my baby. Bit of that. That's super. <laughs> wow. I've never used the word super in any conversation ever. I just did. Why? That's super. Hey, don't you know? Which way I wanna go? I don't know what to have for dinner today, actually. Ain't got much choice, to be honest. Uh, I don't really want to go for takeaway stuff. That would be bad. No, you know, you know what, Fred? I'm not getting fat, and I, I don't like I. I've got to explain this now, but I was extremely athletic. Like I, I would have been a football player, not a Premier League player, but I would have been like. You know, maybe championship level or something. Uh, I could keep running all day, the central midfield, but then I got ill with Crohn's. Everybody knows about that. Um, so I like. Well, basically, I had to take a load of like. Well, it's been years since I've had Crohn's, but recently, with all the medication I've had to take, it made me like with steroids make you pile weight on, like you wouldn't believe. And I was almost fifteen stone, which is bad right that's bad for me because you know i should not be that heavy um when i came off those drugs and i started taking other drugs it's hard to like get like water off you it's like it's not like fat it's like water it's bad especially around the face um but the drugs i'm on now uh well weight wise i'm like 13 10 which is actually quite good but i still need to get more of it off but uh the drugs still like I've, they have a bit of effect on your your, your system they're not steroids that I'm taking now because they would, well, they would, would have killed me. But uh, there's something called azathioprine, if you, if you know what that is. But it annoys me because, like, with the Crohn's, you can be fine and you can work your fitness back and then you can become ill and all of it goes out the window and then you're on all the medication again and then... You do it again, and then you do it again, and then you do it again, and then you do, and it's quite depressing. It's like, what the fuck in out? You know, like I used to take my bike out all the time. I'm gonna start doing it again because I'm feeling okay. Although this time, I've been much slower going back into it because I've been fine for about two months now. But I haven't pushed myself. I haven't gone like, okay, let's start doing loads of exercise. Let's do whatever because it's like in me sort of thing. But uh, I, I've tried to take it a bit slower this time instead of just going straight into it because I think sometimes just diving back into it does cause me a bit of problems. 
Um, I'm I'm five eleven. I am. Oh, you know, I don't know, Jeeb. I don't know. Kilogram wise, I think the worst I'd ever seen on the scales was ninety, whatever that was. But I'm not that. I should be like twelve and a half stone at least. At least. I've thought, I've honestly thought as well about doing some sort of like weight training or something. Because like, I, I've never really been like one for like doing weights or any of that shit. Because I've I've, I've more preferred like um, fast sports and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm, I was quite good at them. I probably still am okay at football. Um, but I thought maybe doing some like weight stuff might actually be, be better for me. Because I'm not going to like ruin myself. I don't know. Anyway, okay, uh, let's get the lights. So these lights go on, and I forget which way they go. Yeah, they go that way. So the way they connect is, you see those little ridge things? They don't actually connect. They just sort of lie on them. See that? You have to make sure it's flush. It's kind of annoying, this is. See, that's flush. But if you don't get it flush, it really shows up that you haven't got it flush. And that's bad. Hello, George. You know, I've never, I've never done any kind of climbing. No, actually, I have done. I, I've done. Uh, what is it? Spelunking <laughs> in a cave. I guess that's yeah. I was climbing up in a cave. There you go. You know what, prisoner? Um, there's it, depending on what curry you get. There are actually. Um, Spices in there which do help uh, the old crones. It's not. It's not a stupid idea. Okay, this is a fiddly bullshit little bollocks, but we got it, chat. We got it. All right, so what I'm trying to go for here, right? You, well, I'll be able to see this better on the screen, actually. You can see that's not connected properly, right? So, oh, God. That's on right now. Wow, okay. So there's a bit of glue spillage coming out the front there. That's a bit too much glue there. But I'm, not, I'm just going to leave that because the base coat will cover it. Now, if you look at it straight on, it's not aligned properly. So that needs to go across a little bit. And... We also need to make sure there, I'd say that's straight, is straight. Yeah, okay. Bye bye, Rick. Bye bye. All right, so same again. And one of the things I'm doing is because I've got one on already, I can sort of like see the gap, I try and make the gap the same distance. That's actually gone on quite well. And we don't have a gap there. So we've done okay. You can see where there's too much glue though, that like, I think we get away with that. I think we get away with that. But if, if that glue, right, was not in there and it was actually like down here somewhere, like, so it was like there, you need to get rid of it quick because it will fuck up the, um, the paint job because it will like melt into the plastic. Twitter's crap, Rourke. You, you know what? You know what, Rourke, right? Uh, you get like, um, I get different tweets on my iPad than I do on my desktop client. Why? 
what is going on there and like sometimes there'll be messages which i've missed and it's like i haven't like people might think I'm, I'm ignoring them but i'm not i just don't get them like it just doesn't give them to me it's a fucking joke all right so <clears throat> this is like a little fuel canister we've got right now we can put that on uh we could put the fuel canister down the back well, it looks stupid just sitting there, doesn't it? We could have it, like, on the front. I've never actually done it on the front. That seems stupid, because if you get shot at... Poof. But then again, I suppose... Hmm. We could sit it down. So it's sort of... Let's take this off. So it's kind of like... There. I think that's a very I think that's a popular place for it to go. Uh we could hmm. I don't know, I think we have to go I don't like it like that, I don't think. Prefer it sort of resting down. You know, Twitter's not a bad thing. I, I spend too much time on Twitter. Really. I don't I don't mind Twitter though. Some people like have had problems with Twitter in the past though, and I just think you need a bit of self control. So I'm gonna say we'll put this on the this side. But I need to leave a gap because I don't want it. And I'm gonna put this on as well, guys. Like I could like Wait. And base coat it and then glue this on because it's kind of detailed and you could say, well, it makes more sense. But I think because it's so big, I like with that being on there, yeah, there is a gap down the side there, which I'm going to need to paint uh, red or silver or whatever the hell it, it turns out to be. But you can't really see down there, so I might be able to get away with it. Also, I've not put it right up to the side because I don't think that's how you would have it. It would kind of be like, that you know they've sort of I don't know it's magnetized on and also got the school detail at the top uh, then we've got this which is like a box of goodies which uh, the, the lids pointing upwards the, li the lids like up that way so it's not well, actually, I guess there's two. Who knows? Who knows if it's even fuel? It's just a bit of detail. This box, though, we can put that on the other side. The same way. Oh, yeah. I think, Mr. Blasty, for like... the pe you, you can never be ruined by a Twitter rant anyway. <laughs> You just have to be an idiot to ruin yourself. Even if you've got like a massive following, which a lot of the people who have been ruined on Twitter have had. But they're just like idiots. It's weird. Sometimes as well, there just is no point getting involved in discussions with people. But some people seem compelled to do it and I don't know why. Okay, so... Obviously it's on that way because you would open that way. Yeah, that's the hinge, isn't it, at the back? So that's on right. So you'd open it that way. So this is some sort of like, I don't know, goodie box of goodies on the back. Uh, then we've got the Aquila. Now, where do we put this? Uh, a common place for... Well, there's two places for this on the front, yeah? You can put it in there. Or... Oop. If I can fish it out. Uh, Dewey, I don't, I just, I think they've got wieners, but I don't think they can have kids. It's the Space Marines procreate kind of with a gene seed, but they don't, they don't have children, no. 
they might have the bollocks chopped off. I'm not sure. But I'm going to put it there, right? Because it's easy to paint there. That's my only reason. But I, I like it as well, because this leaves this. Because can get a bit of detail in there for something else, like um, the Book of Victory. It's also the thing of like they are effectively warrior monks, aren't they? So it's like they're married to the emperor, you know, married to the empire, to the imperium. Okay, so I'll put this on. I mean, when you put these bits of detail on, you've got to try and get them in the place you want them straight away. You don't want to put them on and move them around because then you'll get like, um, see how that's level as well. see because if you move it around you'll like smudge the plastic glue everywhere like that is annoying me the glue there but well sometimes we feck up the other little bit of detail we've got is this which is like a tow rope which we could like stick on there I guess and like have the turret so it sort of does look like a utility vehicle which is what it is, it's a troop transport. Yeah, I think we do. Give it a bit more detail, doesn't it? You know what, Jeff? I didn't really show you anything, does it? Like, I need to know um, what that is. Like, I need to know, is it an RTS game? Is it a turn-based game? Is it a, well, is it a turn-based RTS game? Is it... Do you just pick a fleet and go into battle? Is it like gratuitous space battles? You know, there's so many questions. Just like a random trailer, which went laggy at the end when they fired all the torpedoes, was gash. So using my tweezers might be a good idea, but yeah. I'm too good for tweezers. Okay, so there you go. I, d I haven't put a lot of glue on it because, again, I don't like using a lot of glue. That should glue itself down fine. Okay. So, like, this bit here, I don't know. I, you know, maybe I should just put that on. Sh you know what, chat? Shall I put on the, the front? I don't normally do it, but I, I don't mind doing it this time, I don't think. Give a bit of spice to it because we do have a... Uh, a predator, don't we? And that doesn't have it on the front. So, I'll I'll, uh, I'll cut it off, just so you can see what I mean. Because I mean, just saying, like, should we stick this on? And you guys don't know what it, the hell it looks like. So this um, goes on the front, right? Like that. It's sort of like a remnant from the old. Rhino. Uh, it... <sighs> kind of like a dozer blade. I mean, a dozer blade is the blade on the front of the um, Vindicator. That's a dozer blade <laughs> in my book. True, you could have like an orc dead on the front in that. Let's do it. Fuck it, chat. We're only here once. Let's do it. You know, I might actually have a... Uh... Oh, shit. You know what, chat? Hang on a sec. We might have a... I might have a... Uh... Oh, my God. I know somewhere I've got a uh, a bunch of ah or actually I've just got a fucking made one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This look, that's an Imperial Guard Dozer blade. Now it's still Imperium, isn't it? Look.
You know what? I, I, I do have guardsmen that I could put on the front. I don't have any orcs, so I've got an orc head randomly. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to make this so you guys can sort of see it. There you go. Does that look silly? Is it even parallel with the thing? Is it right? No, no, it'll work because it's not. But it's modeling for disadvantage. Because <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, the front of your model's sticking out. Though I guess, like, you would say that, that you would still get cover, I guess. Stick the Carl effects head on! <laughs> hmm. Well, the dozer. It, it is an upgrade for it anyway, because doesn't it make it ignore dangerous terrain or something like that for five points? I can't remember. Fuck it, chat. Let's do it. This is going to make it look solid. Fix the orc. Yeah, but the orc head's really small. Like, it would look stupid. It's not like a, a the head of a war boss. Uh, it pushes stuff out of the way. Like, in the rule book, this just sort of... I'm pretty sure it just ignores dangerous terrain tests if you had that on as an upgrade. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> just like drove through him. That is just the worst thing I've ever seen. Look at that. Uh, uh, Mr. Card effects, don't. Wow. He's lost his head. His head's like just, just like there, fell off. You can't even see it. It's just, it just fell off. There you go. There's his head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's mating season. The, uh, the orc, but the orc is like really gash and small. Let's have a look. Because I'm, ne I'm never, I'm literally never going to use that con effect, so we could. So let's just say that was like that. Okay. <laughs> it looks fucking stupid with the plastic. <sighs> oh, yes. Oh, my God, chat. Where I could like smash up some Eldar and just put them all over it. <laughs> um, hmm. I wonder what other bits of wonder I've got. Uh, delights. Hmm. Not much really. <laughs> So are we are we going for this? Like I think if we do this, if we do the do let's do the dose. Let's fuck it, chat. Let's do the dose blade. If it goes to shit, I can just rip it off anyway because it's only gonna it's only gonna damage the other side anyway with the glue, and we're never gonna see that. So I'm not too fussed. Okay. So I will run the glue down there, and then we will fix it. <laughs> Flaming platypus, love it. I love it when stuff like that happens. It's like, wow. Here's my awesome showpiece model. Oh shit, it's died on turn one. <laughs> um. 
I'll get my coat. Okay, right. Let's try and glue this on so it is aligned. I'm going to just do it by eye because I'm an idiot. Okay, I think I think we're looking fine. All right, let's hold it on. <laughs> and it was the first game. You can imagine it, can't you? Yeah, look what I've got. Yeah, yeah, Forge World. <laughs> it's the defeat. You, you look at the face, the defeat. Is, it, it, it scrolls down the chap's face. You can't believe it. Yeah, well, Imperial, I've got like a box of guardsmen. I've not even opened. Hello, Horned. That's a new name I've not seen before. Hello. <laughs> God damn. Okay. So, you can see where we've just straight up attached that to the bottom. This should be okay. Now, it's it's basically level with the ground clearance at the moment, but that's not going to matter because we're going to put tracks on, which is going to make it a little bit higher. But that's fine. I mean, that no, you don't ram them, do you? It's fine. Anyway, you can see it's moving around okay. Um, so yeah, look, there you go, chat. That, has, that actually doesn't look too bad, that doesn't. You know, I bought these off a guy on eBay, and he kept pestering me, like, leave me feedback, leave me feedback. And I sent him a message, told him to fuck off. That was childish of me as well. <laughs> I was like, fuck off. <laughs> leave me feedback, leave me fucking feedback. I would have left him feedback if he just let me, you know, get on with my, my life. Christ. That don't look too bad, does it? Okay. Um, now, I forget which one is the... Uh, <clears throat> Let's just check. Which one is the... I think the bigger one. Yeah, actually, we haven't done the smoke launches either. Yeah, so. X. Oh, no. Okay, so X is like the commander. Y is the gunner. Now. Well, I'm not going to say never, um, George, because never say never. But yeah, like I think we'll make videos, definitely. Stream it, I don't know, because I think that's a whole different load of madness. <laughs> also, <laughs> the dozer blade, it comes with the dozer blade. We gave it. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, all right, then. So I think what we're going to do is if we do the... I don't like I don't like guys hanging out the turret. I just don't like that. For whatever reason, I just don't like that. We don't need that sprue. We don't need that. We've got a free heavy bolter. What we need is... Chuck that over there just so we can check it. And we're going to go for... Although, actually, we could... 
Do I want a hundred killer missile on it? Nah. Liquid. You know what? Maybe choose marines. I, I mean, I've got. I, I started originally with Eldar, and I've got Imperial Guard as well. Um, Kiri has loads of marine stuff, so I know that we can share parts that we've got. Also, marines are. They're very customizable. Like, it's very easy to kit bash marines. Like, you can use different parts. There's a ton of parts. There's a load of parts. So you can really like give it your own kind of flair. I mean, look at this thing, for example. That has got an Imperial Guard dozer blade on the front of it. That is not a normal razorback. The um, Eldar Dire Avengers I, I showed you earlier on the stream, guys. They are all very similar the way they're laid out. Like the pose is very similar. The Marines though are all different, aren't they? Okay, um, so I think Ah, we missed that. You see that? That's a... Uh, why has it gone like a fucking funky colour? The light. Is it because, it's because I've put white into the image, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, let's get that out of the way, though. Uh, okay. Right, so we want the scroll, because that goes on the back door. With the immortal victory words on it okay so we got that now we need the yeah the pencil okay yeah but i'm I, I, honestly i'm still not sure what to do i think i would really like to build a big model and it's either going to probably be an Imperial Knight or, and I'd like to really do like an amazing job on it, or a Wraith Knight. Bye bye, Iron. Bye bye, bye bye. And hello as well to people in the stream that have turned up. Hello, hello. Okay, um, right, so if we've got that there, next up we've got... Alright, so we want to take the Storm Bolter off, which is what we're going to go booyah, booyah. So has anybody, has anybody like from the streams they've seen in the past, has anybody actually gone and took the plunge and grabbed some models or at least tried to do something? Um... 40k wise that like the, the stream has literally inspired them to do it fell blade oh my god composite yeah that is actually was the other thing like something from forge Lord, like a sicarian battle tank i really like that oh my god okay so we've got that and next up if we just take off any of these two for a closed hatch Okay, so we've got closed hatch there. Now this. Okay, I think this just. I think it just rests on the thing. Okay, so if that just goes into there. Oh, let's clean it up before we. Try and put it together. Yeah, distracted chat. Okay, so uh like I said, let's just clean this up. Awesome. All 
All right, so I think that just goes in there, like, boosh. All right, so that goes together like that. Then, no, oh, liquid harmonics. Oh, I was the cabbage crew. Do the cabbage dance, chat. Give it me. Do it, chat. Actually, that was pretty quick. Like, I could, that's popped up on my screen, and now it's all over. Well, there's still a 20 minute delay, isn't there? 20 second minute, what Christ, and my mind's gone to shit. Um, Alright, so th this goes together. Uh, like that. Oh, is it twin linked? I didn't realise it was twin linked. Um, and like, you only glue... Um, wow, how does that... Oh, fucking hell, I've only missed a bit, ain't I? Actually, what the hell have I... What the hell have I done here? That is not the, that is not the right bit. That's, um... There's this bit... There... That little bit there, that bit is the bit we need. This handle section here clips into the back of that. No, because that. Hang on a minute, we can't need that bit because that bit just wouldn't. See, I've never bothered with the storm bolt because it's always been a bit shit. But I think it's only like five points in it, so it's like, well, you may as well. So I'm thinking like, you know... Well, that, if, I, if I glue that on there, it will not move, and that is a cheap way to do it. I think it's a bit quicker, is it, today, Rourke? Like, it... it I hope they do like keep reducing it because they seem to have reduced it a little bit, haven't they? Because it used to be quite long and it was like forty seconds, and now it's uh, a lot better. No, I don't think this. Yeah, I don't. See, I could bodge it. See, I could do it like that. Right, chat. I could do it like that. Yeah, where it's just sort of. Because that looks like it's ready to be used, isn't it? And I'll put the handle bit on the back. So, like, somebody jumps out. And, like, and I'd say, like, in the game, that at least it's what I'd envisioned in my head. If I did use the Storm Bolter, somebody has just quickly popped out and fired it because I don't like the model being outside the thing. Hello, Star Galaxy. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm going to go for that. I think that's okay. Let's go for that. And the little handle. Let's take that off. I think I'm going to glue that shut as well. Oh my god. No, I've, I, I'm not doing the hellos, Imperial. I did that before. I'm going to destroy my throat. It's already on the way out. I need some... I need some honey. Okay, uh... Alright, let's run some glue around the rim. Christ, I feel knackered. I'm singing a random song, what do you know? 
Okay. And okay, right. So that that is glued in now, right? Okay, so it looks like it's got a gap, but I think that's well. You can see. I think that's just how it goes together. And like I say, once that's sprayed, it won't really matter. I don't think anyway. Um. All right. So now for the bolter. <sighs> Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna gonna somehow glue this. I'm just gonna totally glue this to itself and glue it to the 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 the, the pin tool thing so it's it's not gonna be able to move. This is this is fixed. This is not like this is just how it is. It is just part of the model now. So deal with it. Okay. Okay, so I will hold that in a position like that so it looks like it's pointing down, right? Can you guys kind of see that? So it's like facing down, uh, but I'm going to have to hold it. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, it, it totally should be because Gaunt, are, oh, especially when you've got a, um, what's the one that spawns them? What what is the, the the big monstrous creature which spawns termagants and gaunts? Well, they, they are termagants. What am I talking about? Gaunt, gaunt, gaunt. Tervagon. Thanks, skill. I knew it was Terva something. Oh, you know what? I totally didn't drill the bloody bolter out. Oh, it's okay. Okay, so... See, so it's sort of like... It needs to handle putting on the back, which I'll do now. Uh, which looks like it just goes in like that way. Ay, ay, ay. Hello, boss man. Hello. Yo, yo, Shura, yo, yo. Oh, God, it's, it's, why is it falling apart? What the? Why? Okay, so there you go. So you've got the uh, handle on the back. So it can be grabbed and fired. Wow, what's going on with the focus? So it can be grabbed and fired. Um, so that would go on there. Again. Gluing it? No. Well, maybe yes. I don't know. I might glue this. But it kind of goes against everything I stand for because if you get weapon destroyed on this now, you would be that's a weapon, that's a weapon. So you roll a dice. Now, if you've got this, yeah, that's fine. You can just take it off. Well, you can just take that off. But that we couldn't. I mean, we could now because we just go well, weapon destroyed. But if I glue it, if I don't glue it on, it's a bit top heavy. And if I, I mean, well, we can watch when I move it. It's a bit wobbly. 
magnet. I I could use some of the magnets I've got on magnet, but uh... I've got an idea, chat. I'm not gluing it because that would be shit. We'll use magnets, right? So those two are very small little magnets. But what we're going to do is a bit clever, right? So we're going to use this, yeah? We're going to use the edge of the sprue. Oh, yeah. You will love this chat. This is also destroying the blade of my uh, thing. And I'm really close to slamming the camera, which would also be bad. If only I had clippers, but it's fine. Nice pair of pliers. Wouldn't go amiss. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, right, because I think this is probably the fastest way of doing it, or the easiest way, is I'm going to have to cut this down, but if I put that in there, right, yeah, and I glue it to the bottom, and I glue a magnet to the top, and then I glue a magnet to the base of this, they will... What a plan. Uh, good night as well, guys, to people who are leaving. I don't think I'll be going for much longer myself anyway, guys. The best get something to eat. Okay. Uh... Well. Let's see where we're going with that. I don't, I, you know what? I need my tweezers. Tweezers! I also need some shit super glue. Shit, super glue. Yeah. Come on, tweezers. Where are you, man? Tweezers. I need my tweezers, baby. All I don't want to do is do my tweezers. All I want to do is do my tweezers. Okay. And my shit super glue to glue the magnet. Okay. Uh, you know what, Jeff? I've basically done that to myself anyway. Look at this. Right. Fucking Tommy Walsh. DIY time, bitches. Does anyone remember him from, like, Garden Force? <laughs> um, oh, shit. Look, I've got two magnets in the in there as well. Oh, I'll keep them for later. Uh, I'm going to drop it in there because that would be fucking annoying. Right, we need to take a bit more off. These magnets are, like, super powerful, so we can kind of... If you take a bit too much off, I don't think it matters. But yeah, yeah, my sleeping pattern went to shit for ages, right? And I wasn't, I was finding it very hard to go to sleep till like fucking two o'clock in the morning. Just because a couple of nights I stayed up in the road to speak to some people in America. It was annoying. Okay, let's say. Let's get the Tommy Walsh glue. Did does anyone remember him? I got it from Poundland, so this is good. This glue is going to be really shit. Like for super glue, this is going to be like one use and then just like completely pointless after that. Um, but there was like eight of them in a packet. In fact, it's already fucking gone everywhere. What the fuck? The best stuff is the Loctite gel glue, but it's like way too expensive for, for an idiot like me. It's like five quid. I was like, ah, fuck that. <laughs> Got to make sure the magnets are the right way up as well. <laughs> Although it kind of doesn't matter, does it? Uh, until we've got them both glued on. But it'd be funny if we had them repelling each other. Yes, it would be comedy gold, chat. Comedy fucking gold. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Okay. See, bit of glue. Chat, what could have happened here? <sighs> the glue is real. No, I'm not a skinflint. I'm just like spending five quid on glue. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, baby. So if that goes in there now. I think it'll be all right if I glue it. So that's plastic glue, not super glue, because this is plastic on plastic. Come on, derby tight. Okay, so if I drop this in now. Like so. And then I realized, I don't know why I was doing that, because it's magnet and the... You can see, I got it in there. Let's leave it. This better be quality beef. <laughs> you can see I'm a busy man. <laughs> no way. It's just melted, guys. Oh, no. Holy shit. Uh, oh, Christ. Guys, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll go to Twitter after I've done this because there's a load of pictures on Twitter. It looks like that's holding itself. So let's go to Twitter. To Twitter. Ha! Okay, so we've got... Uh, do, 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 we looked at Jack's stuff. William Martin. I made this for a school project a year or two ago. They are 170 tooth, tooth scale. 172. Scale Canadian World War I soldiers. Okay. No, send it again. No. Um, George, mental transfer work. Ah, yes, because these guys, uh, the Imperial Knights, have got transfer sheets for days, ain't they? Love it, son. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's quite nice the way you've rubbed them away. Beautiful. Thomas, slightly converted tactical marine squad leaders, okay? So, uh bit of Sarge loving. Pretty good. Bit of uh, Grey Knight chopper there. <laughs> Looks like we've got some Imperial Fists, ladies and gentlemen. As the stream died. No, it just looks like we had a load of dropped frames. GG. Um, anyway, so, yeah, pretty good. That's also a... Because uh, I know this, because Kiri gave me a Grey Knight sprue, and I've used it on my uh, some of my guys as well. Awesome. Uh, what's this? Tent on Hammer? No. Um, Anna, she says, not to buy me, but wanted to share this cute fan art uh, while Luther is drying. terrible all right angus says painted my librarian from the death watch rpg i've been playing and having a good night okay 
I like that. You know what? I like that model. I like it. I like the one with the. Cra- is, is this the one with the crazy like baby that floats above its head? <laughs> Who's that wanker? <laughs> What's this? Where's my Captain Morgan? Good show. Good show. Good show. Um, got more crazy warrior priest guys. Good. 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 Nice. I'm not talking a lot, guys, because my throat is really killing me. You recovered from last night? No. Uh, beef. This, these are his Tau Fire Warriors. I've sort of cut a bit off, and I, but you're only missing a little bit, guys. Uh, Mason, some howling banshees. Oh, these are models you don't see that often. That's quite a nice color scheme as well. Hey, your bases are kind of like mine. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Ah, William's back just in time because I was about to quit the thing. Ah, yes. That's quite good. Especially for it being like scratch built, the scenery and stuff. That's good. I like that. I like the bit of uh, painting you've got going on in the background as well. Just give it depth. Very good. Very good. I feel like I'm the guy from Art Attack. <laughs> Neil Buchanan. <laughs> is that his name? Fucking hell. The chat are like, who the fuck is this guy he's talking about? Neil Buchanan. Who could it be? Neil, Neil Buchanan. <laughs> oh my god, chat. Okay, right, chat. The home stretch is almost upon us. Yeah, he was a scouser, yeah. Okay, so that now should be dry. So this means that this will. Well, let's just see if there's space. Right, there is. He says, if there is not space, I will fucking cry. Chat. We can test that though, can't we? <laughs> okay, so that's pulling. So. See, what's worrying is I have to use super glue. I'm just going to totally guess this by eye. And that means I'm getting it on my hand. Fuck you. Do not glue there. Ah. This is why I hate super glue. It instantly Wow, that moved. You know what? I think this magnet might be wet. <laughs> I think it might be so powerful it's just going to rip the... Okay, all is not lost because... If we have to super glue this in, right, this could be an opportunity. This could be opportunity chat. Could be an opportunity. Yes. Right, it's 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 all good chat. It's all fucking good. We're gonna super glue this bitch in. Yeah. There you go, bitch. There you go, you fuck. No, I've dropped it in there. Oh, God. Shit. 
Christ, I'm using like a fucking ton of super glue here. This this better hold it. Tommy Walsh! Save me. Is it more powerful than the crazy magnet? No, no, it, that, that's actually a better idea. Put a horizontal piece, but uh, I'm, I'm committed. <laughs> no more nails. <laughs> Ow! If only we'd done this before we actually put the top on, chat. If only we'd like worked this out before we got here to this to this to this critical juncture, chat. A very critical juncture. So the test is real, chat. Are you ready? Are you ready? Seems to be working, chat. Seems to work. This is what happens when you get tired, chat, and everything starts flying all over the fucking place. Anyway. Okay. So. So there we go, chat. We've glued that in under the hatch. Now, <laughs> glue the magnets to keep... <laughs> the, I think these are neodymium magnets that you get out of the... Uh, um, oh, yeah. No, you can't get through there because there's a thing. Out, out of hard drives... Why'd you hate on me, chat? Right, here we go. Here we go.
It's like it's plowing into my head. Uh, anyway, so there you go. Look, look. Movable. And, and. Wait for it, chat. Wait for it. Oh no, weapon destroyed. Why did I buy the cheap super glue? I mean, it's not what I wanted. It isn't what I asked for, It, but it's what I got. Now, there's not much left to do. No, they're not anon. They're not backwards. They're backwards. They're backwards. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. It's okay though, I can fix that, so that's not a problem. But they are backwards. I'm gonna blame that on tiredness. They were backwards though. La 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 They were backwards, oh yes they were. Fixed it. I fixed it. Well, I fixed it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, right. This is going on the back. So this is coming off because it will fall off. This, ladies and gentlemen. So, Jeff, the reason why I've, like, it's, you can get a much better finish if you do paint all the bits individually, right, before you put them together. But I've not done that because mainly it would be a boring stream with just all these bits and you won't be able to see a finished product. Um, I'm pretty confident I can still do a good job anyway with it all being completed. Um, because it's, like, there are large areas. Um, but then again, there are some people who are really high-end painters who actually don't um who do assemble their stuff anyway so uh... okay i'm gonna just glue this on the back and then i'll show you what i've done I mean, I guess it's not like really a right or a wrong way, but uh, there you go. So that, well, I'll just centralize it a bit more, a bit more detail on the back. I mean, again, like you could paint that and then put it on. It's like the only bit I haven't done is the tracks because I know the tracks are annoying. If I put the tracks on and then try and paint it, it will be a disaster. So I'll just paint the tracks when they're off um, and then basically put them in as the last thing. Um, what we do have Razorback and Rhino variants ready now, which is fine. Well, obviously the Razorback looks nicer and the Razorback does function as well. So we can like 
move the turret. Yeah, I think I'm going to end it at that, guys, because I'm going to—I'm getting tired, and I'm just going to make loads of mistakes if I carry on. Like number, well, you, you see me put the bloody handles on the wrong way. I mean, what next? What next, chat? I, I smashed some of my assassins up. No, chat, no. All right, guys, that's the end of the stream. I hope you enjoyed that. It is very relaxing as ever. Uh, this there'll be more. I, I what I'll do is I I might do like bits and pieces, like finish off the modeling, like drill out the. Uh, exhaust and stuff like that but i'll base coat it and i'll probably the next 40k stream it's probably a good chance that it will be a we'll paint this on the stream because i think that would be pretty good like to, to at least do a well have we done a vehicle on the stream my mind's gone to shit I don't think we have, have we? No, oh yeah, no, we have. We've done the, um... What's it called? The land speeder, remember? Although that isn't still... You know what, the land speeder's not finished. We could still do a bit more to the land speeder. But yeah, alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. So I hope you enjoyed that. We've actually built something, kind of. And we've used the magnet. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out of here. I am going to get something to eat and something to fix my throat. I will see you on the next one. Toodaloo.